leg. Let's do the other. The other, other. Dun, 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 dun. We'll love you forever. Oh goodness. Oh goodness me. Hi. Hello, Paizon. Can you hear me? Uh, sorry, hold on. I'm putting on my socks. You know, you know, you know. Hi, Faust. Hello. Hi, Janae. OMG, you're back. I am back. Hello. Hi, Spirit Walker. Hi, Synth Synth. Hello, hello. Sorry, I'm still kind of setting up. <laughs> Hi, Keely. How was your day? It was good. Um, a little busy just because I had a lot of things that I had to do before... Uh, cause I'm going out of town tomorrow, if you did not know, but, uh, yeah, I had a few things I needed to do, had to go get some gifts and stuff for people, because I'm a really last minute freaking shopper, and, uh, yeah, so I had to, I was kind of running around and doing a lot of shift today. Uh, let me put on the Christmas lo-fi beats, though. Um, this seems good. The Christmas fair, chill, it, chill hop and lo-fi Christmas songs. All right, sounds freaking good to me. Hi, hello the chord. Um, Amazon rap boxes have pretty good rap, at least some of them, at least some of them? Really, wait, I don't think I've ever actually heard of that before. Amazon wrapped boxes. Um, okay, hold on, I do, oh, never mind. Um, okay, hi, hello, Yosan, hi, Gamer King, hi, Cartridges, hello, wait, I feel like I haven't seen you in a little bit, Cartridges, um, hi, hello, The Cord, uh, love your tiny Santa hat, thank you, I got it today while I was out, I went to, like, the mall, and I saw this, and I was like, I should get this for stream, <laughs> it was, like, super cheap, it was literally, like, two dollars, um, going to the parents for Christmas, um, yeah, well, I'm going somewhere with my parents, so we're going up to visit, like, our, um, aunts, or my, my uncle, whatever, yeah. <laughs> but we're going up and staying there, so um, I will be out of town for a little bit. But I'm going to go to Cali um, on the second, and I have to pack because, like, I'm going up. It's so, like you guys know, like I live in Chicago, or not in Chicago, but I live like in Illinois. So I'm going like up closer to Chicago to for, to my uncle's for like ten days or whatever, and staying with some family. And um, yeah, and then I will be flying out from there to California. So I gotta pack for Cali now. Um, hi, hello Blackwater. Um, oh, Slippity's here. Hi, hello Slippity. Hi, Fo. Um, I need to go eat, but I don't feel like moving. <laughs> Literally me every day. Hi, Dom. Hello. Um, oh, I'm also wearing spandex under this. Okay, just so y'all know, because I feel like sometimes people think I'm just not wearing anything. Mm. So, I need to get ready to go out of town today. Um, so I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm kind of gonna multitask. It was either I didn't stream or I packed on stream today. So that's what I will probably be doing. So I need to clean up all the stuff. I still have my little snowman. Wait, can you guys even see it? I still have my little snowman army back here, but I'm gonna put them all in a bag, ship them out first thing tomorrow morning. Does anyone know, Are the is the post office going to be open tomorrow? I don't even know. Um, I'll play Metro 2033. What even is that? Uh, is Shaka to meet the fam when you're in Cali or not? Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll probably be streaming and like while I'm, I'll, I'll definitely be streaming while I'm in Cali, but I'll probably just like do it in my room. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know about like, it's not like, it's like my little brother and my mom. That's who I'm going to go stay with. So it's not like it's anything too crazy. <laughs> Uh, um, hi, that's a very elegant Santa cosplay. Thank you, Shaki Dow. How's it going? It's going pretty good. I was going to talk with you guys in chat before I started getting done what needs to get done. I need to clean up all the stuff from making all the snowmen and whatnot. And yeah. Hi, cucumber kimchi. Send a kiss to Brazil. Mwah. Send and kisses to Brazil. <laughs> from Illinois. Um, hi, can you say, oop, no, sorry, I don't say things that are in another language because trolls, and I already know it was probably something weird, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I was gonna like chill uh, with you guys until I, or should I just do it now? 
I don't know because I'm not gonna be streaming very long today since I have to wake up really early to go out of town tomorrow. So yeah, beautiful cosplay Christmas. Do I look like I'm like cosplaying a Santa or something? I like your Santa hat. Thank you. It's just like a little clip. It'll probably make my hair look weird. But like, I'm not sure how I was supposed to clip it onto my head because like the way that the clip is, I just like literally randomly clipped it onto my hair. I don't know if there was like a specific way I was supposed to do it or anything though. Um, I have to wake up early to fly home to California too tomorrow. Hey, well, I'm not flying to Cali tomorrow. So I'll be going to California on like the 2nd of January. I'm gonna spend the holidays here in Illinois, but uh, not in my apartment because I'll be with my family. Um, hi Barack, hello. Um, all right, let's see. I also got Duncan earlier today while I was running around. Oh, it looks like all my mocha settled at the bottom. Uh, mm. Do I ever wear my hair up? Honestly, I don't really wear my hair up very often because I feel like I look like an egg. <laughs> I just think I have a really round face. And so I feel like, I don't know. I just think that my face is too round for me. I think I just look better with my hair down in all honesty. Um, my mom cleaned my room. Oh my gosh, my mom is low-key a clean freak as well, so like sometimes she'll randomly like clean my stuff and whatnot, but I also don't see her very often. <laughs> um, Miss Santa Claus, that's me. Do I look like Mrs. Claus? <laughs> uh, hi, hello, Barack. I'm pretty soft toy on your bed. Oh, my little plushies. Oh, I won't be, I won't have Mio or Pablo for... A very long time like two weeks I think I'll be out of town no like three weeks I'll be like out of town dang we're really gonna have to see how this goes with streaming and stuff like that because I definitely will be able to stream in Cali but like I said like while I'm like I don't know I think that starting tomorrow I won't be able to stream until potentially like like I don't think I'll be able to stream tomorrow I don't think I'll be able to stream on Christmas Day and maybe I don't know I'll have to like wait a couple days because I'm not really gonna have a place to stream so we'll see Pfft. um hi hello Tuesday um <laughs> thank you Kevs I failed to get up early this morning but now I'm ready to get comatose like the Pokemon Kamala oh my gosh to get comatose what does that even mean just be tired um do you like J. Cole? Uh, I do like J. Cole. Well, I, I like some of his songs. I can't really say... I will say that some of his songs... I, I like some of his songs. I'm not a big artist person, so like if an artist has good songs, I'll listen to them, but I don't really actively follow any artists. Um, do you got rice again? I do. I need to clean all of this stuff up and put it all away. Uh, should I start doing that now? How long, how long do y'all want me to chill and chat for? Is someone wild and out using non-English or some shit like that? <laughs> Thank you, Slippity. Amazing mod. Although, although, also, by the way, I responded to you on, D on Discord. I haven't been on my phone since then, so I don't know if you said anything back, but just wanted to let you know that I responded to your Discord message. Um, okay, so what I'm thinking is, first though, is I first A clean my room and that involves cleaning up all of the stuff I used to make the snowman and I low-key have a pile of clothes right here that I need to clean up too um and then after I clean up all of these things I throw my clothes into the laundry or into the washer and do a little bit of laundry or whatever um my laundry probably wouldn't even even be done until after stream and then uh we pack everything up and you guys can help me pick some cute outfits for going to Cali um I don't really know what the weather is going to be like um where's my phone here is my phone um clean and talk okay sounds good the only thing is like i have like terrible eyesight so i will be struggling to read chat um let me look at what the weather is like in cali right now I feel like you guys have seen a lot of my outfits now that i'm a partner in my vod save for like 60 days <laughs> Y'all can see all my outfits. Okay, um, what what day of the week is the second? So it's not this upcoming Saturday, but next Saturday. So it looks like it's gonna be like in the 60s. So it'll be chilly in California, but not freezing. Hi, hello Brewster, hi Kyle. Uh, you'll spend Christmas with your family or you stay all alone? No, I'm gonna go up and be with my family for Christmas. So yeah, <laughs> won't be alone, won't be alone this time. 
Uh, I'ma just sleep really tight, is what I bet. <laughs> okay, yes, I wish you the sweetest of dreams, Shacky Dow. Sick packing. Yo, you guys help me choose out my outfits. So it's gonna be um in like the 60s. Um, so it's basically like jeans and a long sleeve weather, but I don't need like a coat or anything. But y'all can help me pick out outfits and stuff like that. Um, I'll be there for like 14, a little less than 14 days, like 12 days. So I don't really know. I usually just bring like a variety of outfits <laughs> um, instead of just like bringing one outfit for each day because I don't know what I'll be doing while I'm there. Um, actually, let me text my California friends now that I'm thinking about it. Um, and are we gonna do anything in particular? When I'm in town, I should be there Jan 2 to 14. There we go. All right, just texted my friends asking whatever if they wanted to do anything in particular. That way I know if we're gonna, I don't know, do something like a pack an outfit. Ah, oh, hi D-Day, hello. Are you still making snowmen seagull on screen? Honestly, I guess I really wouldn't be opposed to making snowmen, but maybe I should turn it off. <laughs> but if someone wants like a card or something, like that's very easily done. I was just gonna leave it up and not like hella promote it or anything, but if someone wanted to do it today, honestly, they could. <laughs> I don't see any reason why not to. Uh, hi Rob, hello, how am I? I'm doing good, how are you? Hi Aya Nut. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sog snowman. All my Cali friends moved to LA and left me. Mm -hmm. Wait, do you not live in the LA area? Are you from like North Cali? Do you or did you play any sports and what sports? Um, I did. I played six sports during my time <laughs> in high school. I did um, cheer for four years, track for three years, swim slash diving for three years. Although I only did I did only swimming for the first year and then I did swimming and diving for the remaining two, if that makes sense. Um, so that's swim and dive, and then I did one season of softball and one season of volleyball. And so yeah, you know, I'm a, I was kind of bouncing all over the place, you know. Do I like avocados? Love avocados. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for gifting a sub, Brewster. It looks like our notification thing is still broken. But thank you for gifting that sub. Oh my gosh, shout out to Trey. Mwah. I appreciate that, Brewster. Heart, heart. <laughs> Kaylee looks 5'8". E glad I look so tall. Uh, hi, hello, no cap. How are you? Oh, thank you, Atvanya. Uh, miracle fruit. Miracle fruit. What? Is, what is miracle fruit? Bruh, bro, what? <laughs> okay, is it time? Should I start cleaning everything up? I'll probably. I don't know. We have a lot of stuff out here. Oh my gosh, Brewster! Thank you for gifting those three subs! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Mwah! I appreciate that! Wait, was that for a holiday card? <laughs> was that, was that, wait, was that for a holiday card or were you just being nice? <laughs> but thank you for that, Brewster. Mwah! I appreciate it. Love the way you say my name. <laughs> Sometimes I really be struggling with these. With your guys' usernames, I'm not gonna lie. Um, hee hee. Both nice and card. Alright, well, I appreciate that. Um, let me just add you to my little spreadsheet. Yeah, definitely still have a few more holiday cards left. Um, maybe I should take- maybe I'll take off the Snock Snowman and I won't make any more. Well, we'll see. If, like, one person wanted a Sock Snowman, but I doubt anyone else will really. So, Brewster da Beast? Okay, um, so what- which- first of all, which card do you want? Second of all, you gotta whisper me on Twitch. Whisper me on Twitch the address you want me to send it to. So uh, if you don't want to send your home address, you can do your work address. I don't really know. So we have these two. We have Happy Holidays and the Christmas tree. Uh, I think that there's no more penguin cards. Uh, so and then we also have this ho 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 with the like baby Santas on it. So which card do you want, Brewster? Uh, hi, hello, full cocaine. <laughs> hi, hello, Dolo. Hi, Ross. Um, swimming's great if you're a musician because any arm slash hand injury risks are minimized. Oh, that's actually pretty true. Swimming is probably one of the hardest sports that I did just because it's literally like you just trying not to drown for two and a half hours every day. Oh my gosh. Um, heading back home, anyone, anything or anyone you miss more than the rest? Wait, what do you mean? 
Um, oh, well, I haven't lived in California since I was like 14. So like my friends that I still have in Cali are like my childhood friends. Like, I don't know, but they're like my childhood friends. There's like three, like four of us. So three of my friends and we always hang out whenever I'm there, but um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's so weird because like since I like had like a big move um, when I was 14, like it's not like, like the people I grew up with aren't necessarily the people that I'm friends with now, if that makes sense. So the ones that have stuck around for all these years are like my true friends, my ride or dies, you know? Penguin, there's no penguin ones! There's no more penguin ones. What comes inside the card? Um, I was, I'm gonna write everybody a little note inside of there and stuff like that. I was thinking about adding candy canes, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, do you find online school hard or easy? Um, I think it depends a lot on the professor. So I think that last, like in the spring semester when we just like kind of randomly had to go home and no one was expecting it, it was a little easier, I'm not gonna lie, cause like it was very easy, like instead of just going to lecture as a business major, like all I do is go to lectures. And so they just record lectures and post it online. But this semester, like in the fall, I definitely feel like it's more difficult a little because I think that there were some professors, like my accounting professor definitely had this outlook, like, oh, since it's online, like it's so much easier. So I'm just gonna make the class way harder because like now it's online. And so like some teachers made their class intentionally harder because it's online and then some just kind of like let it, I don't know. So like I said, depends on the professor. Um, how you get that card? What do you mean? Ho 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 is cute. Add a, add a candy for just for me. <laughs> All right, I will add your ho 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 card to the pile as well as put it. Oh my goodness, come on. Um, okay, tis added to the pile. Um, ho 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 card. Um, there we go. And then whisper me on Twitch, Twitch whispers, um, what address you want me to send it to, whether that be your home address, work address, I need somewhere to send it to, you know? Uh, how am I? I'm doing good, Carson. How are you? Uh, I don't think it's harder than bodybuilding lifting until you feel your mu- <laughs> I don't think it's harder than bodybuilding lifting until you don't feel it. Okay, I just meant like, yeah, swimming- I don't know, because swimming, you're just using all of your muscles simultaneously. Like, you gotta keep your core engaged, you're using your arms, you're, you're, you're using your legs, and so it's like a pretty intense full body workout. Versus I feel like bodybuilders, like, they're focusing on one muscle group at a time, if that makes sense. I don't know, personally, I just thought swimming was, I don't know, I've obviously never done, I just mean like out of the sports I've done, I felt like swimming was the most, like, tiring and rigorous, you know? Uh, where's whispers? Uh, here, I can just, let me send a message in chat. Click on my username and then like you should be able to click whisper, if that makes sense. Uh, let me know if you can't figure it out. Uh, hi, <laughs> hello Tonwell, how are you? Nice socks queen, thank you, thank you, thank you. I should have gotten the ones with like little ribbons on, on top, huh? That would have been cute. Oh well, didn't think about it. I, these are from Halloween when I got all those socks on Halloween, you know? All right, is it time? Should we start cleaning up a little bit? And um, then you guys can help me pick out cute outfits for Callie. Sound good? Uh, you didn't try hard enough then if you think swimming is easier. I never did bodybuilding. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, am I going to bake um, today? I'm not going to be baking on today. Tonight's stream, if that's what you're asking. Um, I will, yeah, I'll probably just be packing and stuff. Um, so let me start, let me at least clean up all the things that are on this little chair really quick. Um, I can put the buttons back in here, hopefully. Just kind of dump them all out. Oh no! Button down! Oh, Brewster! Oh my gosh, what? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, what? Thank you, mwah, I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you, oh my gosh, wait, that was so nice. Is that what your way of saying that you want a snowman? Oh gosh. I don't know if I'm doing the snowman today, if I'm completely honest, I need to take it off the thing. Um, maybe I can make one, cause you did that, but I, I was gonna pack. <laughs> Um, hmm, what to do, what to do. Wow, what do you think? Uh, what's your biggest 2020 regret? Uh, snowman goal on screen equals legally binding. Yes, I know. Okay, I'll make you a snowman. Do you want a snowman, Brewster? I can make it right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> You'll be the last one to get one. I, that is a fair point. I do think that since I had it on the screen, it makes a fair game. <laughs> Pull, make one. I can make one. Not really, but remove if you don't want to make more. Yeah, I just took it off right now, but I can make one for you, Brewster, because that was really nice. For all that know, I have zero interest in Kaylee, and I'm really not trying to date her, so for those who ridicule others... Oh, is someone ridiculing you? I hope no one was saying anything to you. Oh my gosh. No. I appreciate that, and I very much appreciate it. As a content creator, you know, I think that, you know, I don't know. I appreciate everyone that supports my channel. Don't let people be freaking mean to you. Um, okay, so wait, sock snowman? Is that a yes to you wanting a sock snowman, Brewster, though? I'm gonna go game, and then I'll come back. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, Keely, give me them snowballs. <laughs> okay, I will use this last sock, then. And, ooh, it looks like we have one nose. Um, but yeah, this is the lack, last sock snowman that I'll be making, probably. Um, although I don't know. I really wouldn't be that opposed to making more. They don't take, they're not too difficult for me. What do you guys think? Should I still have to let the sock snowman deal go on today? Probably not if I'm trying to pack, right? <laughs> I don't know, I'm feeling conflicting emotions. Uh, I did eight month bodybuilding. See, well, I never did bodybuilding, so I don't know. Have you ever done swimming, Rup? Um, uh, wait, I wanna go back, but Corona, oh, it's a bodybuilding? Yeah, I know, so many things that we can't to do nowadays, very sad, but hey, with the vaccine coming out and all that kind of stuff, um, I think that I don't know. I'm optimistic, I would say. Have you ever made a craft from those dog fur balls? What, what are dog, what dog fur balls? Um, feeling sorry for all the, oh my goodness. True, there are some, there are always gonna be weirdos that pop up in chat, but shout out to my mods for being amazing. Hi, Defu. Hello, how are you doing? I think it's an easy o cart. wait, it's Wait, I think it's an easy cardio biking and hiking are fun. Ooh, I do like hiking, but I feel like I like chill hiking. Like, not like hardcore hiking where I'm like breaking a sweat. Like, I just want to go somewhere and be in nature and kind of walk around and, you know, I don't know. I enjoy hiking, but for the scenery, not for the physical activity of it, you know? Um, do, how are you doing today? You had a good day? I did have a good day, Ross. Thank you for asking. Uh, I was kind of, so stream is a little later today just because I was kind of running around today. Um, I had a bunch of stuff I had to do before I went out of town tomorrow and so that's why I was a little late. But now, here we are. And yeah. I got some coffee and everything to go, well, I was going around and it was nice. Uh, give me extra stuff, Kaylee. <laughs> Oh my gosh, hey, I'm already, I've, I've already mastered this art of sock snowman making, alright? I'm, I'm a, I'm a true master at it now. Oh wait, I don't think I forgot to stretch the sock out. I don't know if stretching the sock out like that really makes a difference though, if I'm honest. Completely honest. Um, well, it's not here, what do you mean? OMG short skirt, it's a dress. It's kind of like loose, so it makes me look a little bloated, I don't know. If it was tight, I think it would be cuter, but eh, whatever. Um, I'm making a pan pasta tonight with squash substitute for me. That actually sounds good. I'm not, I freaking love squash. Um, swimming isn't easy. It depends on what exercises you are doing. That's what I'm saying. I feel like swimming was definitely the most difficult out of the sports that I did. Um, but I definitely recognize that that's like a personal opinion. You know, <laughs> I can't be out here stating my opinion as fact. I don't know what you guys think that's what I'm trying to do. Um, hi, hello Thomas Crown, that outfit, thank you. Last, last day, but I'm gonna stream before Christmas, so I had to, I had to ball out with the Christmas vibes. Um, I don't know if I'm feeling this, this tiny hat thing though. Should I keep it on or should I take it out? I feel like it's just gonna leave a weird bump in my hair. Uh, that's how you bludgeon, wait, that's how you bludgeon someone. This is, there is cotton in here, okay? So I doubt that this could be used to bludgeon anybody. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, I think this is pretty tight. Okay, 
now I gotta cut off this part. Uh, my college skills. Oh my gosh, why are these scissors magnetic? Why, why do they make magnetic scissors? Uh, I'm good, thank you. What about you, Kaylee? I'm also doing good. I would say I had a pretty like good productive day. You know, sometimes those grind days feel good, you know? Um, if your muscles are already trained, you swim pretty easy because you get tired harder. Fair point. See, my muscles were not trained very well. I had to build them up via swimming, you know? Uh, that cute little hat. <laughs> it's a dwarf's. Thank you. Can't really see, I guess, because I, I kind of moved the camera, but, um, oh. there we go. Um, now let's separate the head from the body. Um, one day your parents picked you up, sat you down, and never picked you up again. <laughs> Damn, do you be in your feels about that sensational? Hi, hello, Verky. Hi, Musta. You flying out to Cali? Yes, on January 2nd I am, but I'm going to be going up and staying with some family until then. Therefore, I have to pack today. So you guys can help me pick out some outfits. Um, my college skills, ramen, more ramen, rice cookers, steamed veggies, hot pockets, pasta, other than that, a grill a ton of meat. No offense to those vegans in chat. I, I don't feel like it's offensive to vegans. Um, yeah, I was definitely a huge ramen addict. <laughs> Freshman year, I feel like I, I had my, a microwave in my dorm room, and so I would make ramen just all the freaking time. Um, I would say now I'm pretty addicted to udon, and I also have a rice steamer, so I make a lot of white rice and with various things. But I would say that definitely since I've gotten an apartment, I do notice that I am starting to cook a lot more, you know? Uh, Kaylee is the best type of friend. Goes out, to, wait, goes all out, making little uh, Christmas gifts. Oh, <laughs> well, yay! Hey, I did got, I gotta show some love for my, for everyone that supports my channel. Y'all know, okay? Cause y'all mean so much to me. Okay, we made the bottom part of it. Let me add the glue, and then we can make the beanie, and then I'll clean up all the rest of the supplies while this is drying. Because. that. Uh, oh frick. Like I need a little more pipe cleaner. Uh, what would you do if you were president? <laughs> I would put more funding into um, public services stuff like education and whatnot and uh, defund the military a bit because we spend way too much money on that. <laughs> Um, are those sock snowmen? Cute! Yes, they are sock snowmen. Hi, Tommy Royale. Hello! Enjoy the stream. Oh, thank you. You're always so sweet. Um, my go-to lunch, chicken teriyaki ses with sesame seeds and steamed veggies and rice. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have been, like, finding some cool, easy meals. A good one for me is always, um, like, rice and like rice and eggs with some teriyaki sauce and a dash of soy sauce. I don't know, it's like been my go-to recently. I just like make it first thing in the morning and it's so good. Okay. Um, okay, I need two buttons. Two buttons right there. All made. Let me put some glue on this. Okay. I'm gonna let that stuff dry. Um, okay. Now I'm gonna take out two googly eyes. We have a nose, we have the two buttons, and then I need to cut a ribbon for the scarf, and then we can clean up all the other stuff to make this dummy of the snowman. Um, is that, wait, is that rice in the container? Yes, it is. Because <laughs> I, I, I put rice at the bottom of them to make them bottom heavy. 
Um, uh, hi, hello, Haley. How are you? I don't know if I should go on with master study. The graduation diploma doesn't raise my salary anymore, and I'm kind of tired. Yeah, honestly, I mean, I'm not getting my master's. There's no reason for me to go to grad school as a business major. Some industries, I would definitely say that experience is a little more important. Um, but yeah, do what you want to do. Follow your heart. But I definitely think it depends on the industry, if that makes sense. When is my flight? Uh, so I'm not flying out until like the 2nd of January, but um, I'm going to be going up and staying with some family until then. Uh, therefore, I have to pack for Cali today. Um, all right. I think that this is basically it. Oh, wait. Here's the stuff to make the... Boop, 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 boop. Uh, wait, what is... The... Oh, this is not it. Where's the... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, gotta make the stuff for the score. And then there, that should be everything. Okay, so we got my beauty eyes. I need a piece of tape. Where is my tape actually? Happy holidays to everyone. There's no ordinary Christmas, so remember to behave extra nice. Oh, yes. All right. Sounds sounds kind of ominous, but <laughs> hey, I support. I support. Um, sorry, I'm fraying like the ends of the scarf, so it looks all cute and whatnot. Um, oh, uh, favorite Christmas song, Kaylee? I don't know. I don't think I have one, honestly. I don't really listen to Christmas music. <laughs> Hi, hello TTV, Josh Mex. How are you? Oh gosh. This is very difficult, actually. This ribbon is pretty thick. Okay, there. Um, okay, I don't think I'll need any more of this. Uh, do I have what this thing came in? It looks like no, I don't. Maybe it's in this bag somewhere. Um, I don't exactly see it. Oh no. Alright, it's gone. Gone forever. Unless? Nope. It's not it. Um, are you kidding me right now? There it is! There it is! Okay. Put this away. Uh, hey, I'm back! Uh, welcome back! How's my day been? My day's been pretty good, Ari. I've just been kind of chilling. Uh, you're still doing the cards? I am. So I'll do cards, but probably not make any more snowmen just because I do kind of gotta like pack up and everything today, you know, you know, you know. Your outfit is so cute. Thank you. I wanted to go for Christmas vibes. Um, I can't get enough. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, I'm back from gaming. Hey, wait, what game were you playing? Uh, what do you usually have for Christmas dinner? Honestly, I don't know. I feel like I have no idea. I feel like it's different every year. <laughs> My mom's side of the family usually just orders a bunch of Asian food, to be honest. And my dad's side of the family, I feel like it's my dad's side of the family is just like basic, uh, Asian, not Asian food, but like basic Christmas food. Like, you know, ham, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, 
Why did I put the glue away? I still need the glue! Frick. Lip on our Cali, so we can go on our first date. <laughs> um, yeah, who knows? How, my mom's probably gonna be a little bit crazy about me going and hanging out with people. I already know it. Um, oh, thank you, Musta. I killed 569 people on a bullet force. What? What are you talking about? Pecking duck. Oh, wait, isn't that a restaurant? Or is that a type? No, that's a food, right? A dish? Pecking duck? I don't know. Duck is low-key really good. Um, thank you, Irene, though. Uh, oh, thank you also, Ari. You ever wanted to have a white Christmas? Fresh snow on the morning? I have. Um, I will... I've been living in Illinois for like six years now, so I would say that there have been plenty of white Christmases, at least recently for me. Um, I'm not usually in Cali around Christmas time. I usually go after New Year's, like in January. You wasted good rice. That was like three specs. Come on now. Hi, Chill Snap. Hello. You're coming to Cali? I am. Um, hopefully, we can do some fun IRL streams, go to some fun places. I don't know. We can brainstorm a little bit together, okay, guys? Uh, I only played World of Tanks for about nine years. Oh my gosh, that's so long. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, did I put glue on the hat? Yes, I did. And I put glue on here. Okay, so that's all ready to go. Um, where are my tweezers thingies that I had? Okay. Um, what should I do with this thing? Should I put all the cotton in like... Actually, maybe I could just save it. And put it in my arts and crafts drawer thing I have over there. And use this as like a bag. What do you listen to as a style of music? Honestly, I'm just a basic college student. I just kind of listen to whatever's popular at the time. <laughs> I'm not super big into music. I don't know why. I just kind of, if I, if I hear a song and I like it, I'll add it to my music library. That's basically ugh, how it goes. Oh my gosh, Irene! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the 1,000 bits! My that was so sweet of you. Thank you, Irene. Mwah! I appreciate that. Heart, heart. <laughs> Um, so are you making custom snowmen for subbies? I was making snowmen for subbies, but um, that's what I did for the past two days. Ye yesterday was honestly, I, I allowed one more today because I didn't think to take it off the screen or whatever, but um, I don't know if I have time to make any more, unfortunately. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> SoCal or NorCal? I don't remember what you said last time. I'm from SoCal, so like 30 minutes away from uh, downtown LA. Um, do, 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 do. I've only been to the snow once. N stupid Cali. Do you live in Cali, Haley? Um, I have 23 gigabytes of music playlists I collected over years. Jeez, I feel like that's a lot, honestly. Uh, I just I just use Spotify now. Um, I used to be an Apple Music gal, but I switched on over. Um, okay, I'm going to go. Good night. Okay, don't forget to whisper me your address. Yes, or whatever address. Uh, please, please do it tonight because I'll probably be sending them out tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, I need to make sure that everybody's actually sent me that. How old am I? I'm 20 years old. Two zero. Um, I'm spending Christmas on Twitch. <laughs> ah, I rain! Oh my gosh, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you again for the another thousand bits. Mwah! I appreciate that so much. Heart, heart, heart. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Kaylee. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Um, how tall am I? I am five foot two. What's the bit goal? Um, it's kind of, uh, what is it? like 50,000 it's supposed to be like over the span of a couple days shoot see this is why I debated putting it up before should I bring my like stuff for to do I probably won't be able to do it until I come back and I was hoping that it would take us a while to reach it but we've low-key been completing it very very fast so I don't know um, I probably am not gonna do the cosplay until I come back because I won't have like my stuff just do it when you get back I didn't think that we would, I didn't think we would, it would be moving this fast. We're already almost halfway done with it and it's not even been up that long, I feel like. Um, why, why what? Wait, why what? Yo, from, li from IE. Wait, what do you mean from IE? Um, you're everything a smart man can ask for. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. That's so sweet. BRB, I'm getting something to drink. Okay, sounds good. You in LA? Uh, no. So I grew up in Santa Clarita, which is where I'll be. And, um, 
Yeah. Hi, hello, Warren. How are you doing today? <laughs> Should we finish putting together the snowman really quick so I can clean, finish cleaning everything up? I feel like I probably should. I probably should. Let's put, let's squish this little thing down. Is it dry? I think it's dry. You look tall on stream. That's what everybody says. Doing great. How about you? I'm also doing pretty good. I went to like do Christmas shopping and stuff like that today. So I would say I had a pretty good day. Got ice, mo some mocha iced coffee, all that good stuff. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. Um, where am I from? Oh yeah, I'm from Cal. There we go. Thank you, Slippity. Amazing. On top of it today. Oh, did, I, did you like mess around with Fossilbot? I saw somebody ask how tall I was in Fossilbot. Like automatically replied. Was that you? <laughs> Have a great stream, K dinner time, but check your DMs. Okay, sounds good. I will definitely, I need to check everything tonight, honestly. Um, so after I pack and end stream and everything, I will make sure to go through all of my stuff. I've been kind of slacking because it's been a little, little hectic recently. Um, IE is an inland empire. Do you know where that is? Oh, I do not know where that is. I don't know if I've ever like heard somebody use that terminology before. Uh, San Fernando Valley dude here. Didn't realize we were homies, Kaylee. <laughs> what do you mean, didn't realize we were homies? Okay, wait, let me... Come on. There. There we go. There is the glue for the buttons. Um, let me add the buttons on. Um, boop and boop. Uh, let me add the little nose on now. And then I can add the eyes and I will be all done. Now this will be a nice... Oh gosh. Oh goodness. There we go. Hello. There. Um, yo, I'm Chinese and Vietnamese too. Oh my gosh. Wait, are you like half and half? Or because I'm only a quarter of each. Um, but dang, that's so crazy. You're just like my you're just like my um my mom, because she's she's half and half, uh half Vietnamese, half Chinese. Uh is there a certain type of guy you are attracted to? Um looks wise, I would say not really. But personality-wise, yes, definitely. I think that somebody, I don't know, it's important to me that guys are kind and stuff like that. I always find that kind of stuff attractive. I feel like there's a lot of unkind, douchebag-ass dudes out there, and I am not a fan of that. You know, I don't know, I like wholesome men that are all so nice. <gasps> thank you for the 1,000 bits, Kang! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mwah! I appreciate that, how are you? Oh, Haley redeemed a hydrate. Cheers, cheers. Oh, I just spilled a little bit. Um, I was nervous sending my address. Well, if you didn't want to do your home address, you could do your work address, whatever address. But look, he's all done. That didn't take too long at all. Okay, last snowman completed. Uh, now I can put away the glue and we can clean up all the rest of this stuff. And then you guys can help me pack slash pick out outfits for Cali. <laughs> Um, but do I have brothers and sisters? Yes, I have a full brother, a half sister, and a stepsister. Um, hope you had a great time with, hope you have a great time with the family. Thank you. No, I sent you my home, so please come by, honey. <laughs> no, I will not be doxing anybody or anything. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, you like black guys? Uh, like I said, I don't think that, I think that anybody that has racial preferences within their 
thing is weird. Um, I think that there's attractive people of all races. Yes. Um, if that's what you like, you should ban Circa. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, a challenge named Posture Check would be awesome just to keep your back straight. True, maybe I should. Well, usually I'm like leaning forward anyways. I don't really, I don't know. I, I feel like I always see those memes where it's like, why does my back hurt? And then it shows like a picture of like someone sitting like this all day. I'm like, that's literally me. Okay, let me finish cleaning this stuff up really quick. Um, we can add the snowman Um, okay, let me set aside some of this stuff. Um, okay, let me clean this up. What should I do with my extra socks? amazing time oh thank you thank you thank you um i think they're attractive people all races but prefer preferences are not bad i personally think asian girls like Haley are quite <laughs> thank you i mean i feel like i don't know you know like i feel like you can say like oh like i like guys with dark hair but i don't feel like i don't know i i really do think that when people have racial preferences that it's like usually it's not a good thing like <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't feel like it's a compliment whenever people are like, oh, I love Asian girls, like, blah, 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 especially because, like, and they're like, oh, that's why I like you, like, I don't know, I feel like, I don't think there's anything wrong with being attracted to, like, certain physical features, but as far as, like, like, Asian people look so different from one another, you know, <laughs> so it's like, I don't know, I don't know, I feel like we've had, we've had, return extra socks, I can't, because it's, like, half of a pack of socks, so, yeah, what is your aesthetic, you didn't answer me, oh, I'm um, sorry, I haven't, I've been kind of distracted, but, um, my aesthetic, I feel like I'm kind of soft girl vibes, you know, <laughs> Like, I feel like I like wearing, like, girly things and stuff like that, but it's definitely more, like, soft girl shit rather than, like, I don't know. I don't feel like I have super bad bitch energy in the way that I dress. Um, hello, wait, ooh, this is French. Oh, hi, hello, Feck. Uh, that's facts. <laughs> Put them to the fireplace, Santa will come and fill them. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. It's, like, that's, like, people, I don't know, you know? Uh, you like what you like. It's not good or bad. It just is what it is. See, mm, I would just disagree with that though. You know what I mean? Like there are definitely people who fetishize, fetishize certain races and I would say that that is a bad thing and maybe it doesn't negatively impact the person who has those preferences, but like there are definitely people out there who have, you know, like being a person of color and stuff like that, I definitely, and not even fully, I feel like I'm very, like, I'm racially ambiguous, which is in our society now, like, a good thing, like, I don't know, I do think that people's, like, preferences, as far as, like, in rooted in race, is not, like, I think that you can say, like, I like people with curly hair, but I feel like when you say that, like, I like a certain race or something, I think that that's, I don't think that, I don't think it's just preference at that point, you know what I mean? Uh, I date everyone, bring them all on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm kind, so what's the word? <laughs> I personally have platonic relationships because I never want to hurt anyone. <laughs> hey, I understand that. Okay, because I want to plan your outfits based off of an aesthetic. Ooh, okay, well, I'll like, I kind of want to switch up my aesthetic. I want to have more bad bitch energy to me, but I don't feel like it's really my vibe. Hi, Glister, and hello. How was friend's birthday? Was there cake? Uh, there was not cake. She had like cheese and crackers and stuff like that, but it was fun. I had a lot of fun, and it was nice because my roommate was back in town for the day, so me and her kind of hung out and got Taco Bell at the end of the night. Would you, mar would you marry a Chinese? Would I marry a Chinese person? Yes, I would. <laughs> like I said, I don't think that I have like... I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I get so... Much I've never been like asked these kind of questions until I came on Twitch, I feel like. Like, I don't know. I've never had to... Like, I feel like people, I've never had to, like, examine my type so much. Like, people, I feel like, on Twitch are very, like, I like this kind of look. Like, I feel like if someone's sexy, they're sexy. And it's more about the combination of somebody's features. Or, like, if someone's attractive, they're attractive. And I think it's more about the combinations of, combination of someone's features rather than their individual features. It's more about how those features come together, you know? I don't know. Uh, when do you plan to start thinking about having kids? Uh, probably not till I'm like, 
28 or 30. That's around when I want to start having them, but so much of it depends on my life, obviously, just in an ideal world. Um, wait, unless the plastic bag is all she is taking, she hasn't started yet? Yeah, I haven't started packing. Um, I'm about to start. Would you marry a person? <laughs> yes. Her outfit is very festive. I had to, so this is the last day I'm streaming before Christmas, so I had to do the festive one, you know? Um, wow, thanks for myself to my favorite streamer. Hey, yeah, you probably got gifted by, um, who was it? Brewster? Brewster gifted a bunch earlier. I'd marry a girl that takes care of me and loves me even if we get older together and vice versa. Yes, you know, I feel like a perfect relationship is you nurture each other, you know? Um, hi, hello, Salty. How are you? If you had to live in an African country, which would you choose? Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know if I would ever really live in another country. I love to visit other countries and whatnot, but I don't speak any other languages, which kind of is... I don't know. Blame my parents, okay? My mom is literally from Vietnam and speaks Vietnamese and then never freaking taught me any of it, so... <laughs> um, I'm good, thank you. What's for dinner? Um, I don't think I've actually eaten dinner yet. You speak French? I took French in high school. I would not consider myself fluent in French though, by any means. All right, um, let me throw all of this trash away um, and bring the chair back out there and then we can start packing. You guys can help me. Yeah, sounds good. All right, B, R, B. Alrighty! Are you guys ready? What do I do with all these extra socks? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I'll just lay them next to the snowman army for now. Um. Okay. I guess we can start by cleaning up this pile of clothes I have here. <laughs> oh my gosh. My room is, was a little messy. And then, um. And do some laundry. Um, uh, looks like I don't actually have a ton of dirty clothes, so yippee ki yay! That's a good thing. Um, so I'm throwing those in there. Uh, this can go in there. This can go in there. This, and then while I was on the stream. Uh, should I move my chair so you guys can see everything I'm doing? Um, are you wearing socks from one of the snowmen? <laughs> no, I'm not. These are like my, I actually got these socks on Halloween. Have you ever visited Arizona? That's where I live. No, I have not actually. Well, I think maybe when I was young, I visited Arizona because I think there was like a family friend that lived there or something, but um, I don't really remember it because I was a child. What's my favorite food? Um, I would say my favorite food is probably steak. I love steak, so good, like steak and potatoes. <laughs> Can you bring your mom on stream? Maybe, maybe, depends. Some of y'all are weird though, so I don't know about them apples. Um, packing time, what aesthetic were you going for? Batty or soft? It's got a good mix, all right? So whatever I'm feeling that day, I can just rock it. Uh, <laughs> imagine cleaning your room. Handsome or handyman? Wait, what? What? All right, let me just put all these. What do we think? A hoodie? A white hoodie? Should I bring this with? Well, I think I got a little food on it, so let's wash it. I don't know, should I bring like a lot of sweaters or sh should I bring more casual clothes? Should I bring more casual clothes or should I bring more um, like cute clothes? I don't know, kind of conflicted. Um, I wanna bring these. So these will be my Christmas PJs. Uh, boom. Both. Oh, see, but my casual clothes low key take up more space because there's like hoodies and stuff which takes up more space than like a cute top or something, you know? No, bring casual. I mean, I'll bring a little bit of casual, but which one should I bring most of? I also got this dress that I could potentially wear. I don't really know how I would wear it or what I would wear it with. Um, we'll put this in the maybe pile. How about that? Should we make 
three piles, a definitely and a maybe pile. And then if I have extra space, I could bring some maybe clothes. Um, should I do that? Should I bring any dresses? I don't know what I would really be wearing a dress for while I'm there. Uh, but maybe it would be good just to bring one. I don't know. Um, bring a mostly cute and some casual. Okay, I'll bring a combination of both. So I have to pack two bags. Um, I'm gonna get a suit, my freaking suitcase and stuff, and that's where I'm gonna pack all my Cali clothes in. And then um, I have to get another bag for while I'm in Illinois, which is obviously gonna have colder weather, so I need to bring a little more warmer clothes, you know? 55 to 75 degrees in LA. Okay, so it's like chilly, but not really cold. All right, sounds good. If I get tired of Europe, maybe one day I'll visit the US. Ooh, yeah, I mean, I visited Europe. I just feel like culturally, there's like a lot of cultural differences between between countries and stuff. I don't know. I guess maybe I'd live in Canada, <laughs> but it's also cold in Canada. Um, I don't know. The only reason why I don't know if I don't think I'd live in another country is just because I feel like I have so much of my friends and family and people that I love and value that I think it's important for me to stay close to them, you know? I don't know. Are you good in the cooking? Uh, I would consider myself a pretty decent cook. You can come to my cooking, one of my cooking streams if you want to evaluate, evaluate for yourself. Jeez Louise. Uh, just throw random shit in the suitcase. No, oh, come on. I'm a big planner. Plus, I enjoy I enjoy the stuff. What are the plans? Does that require some certain attire? I don't know yet. Okay, so here here we go. They said there won't be any parties, obviously, but I'm down to hang out. Maybe go on a picnic. Girl, what kind of picnic are we talking about here? Okay, I can pack a picnic outfit. We can wear a dress. I can wear a dress. Like. Like this, with what, like the sweater I'm wearing. I feel like that's a picnic outfit. I'll bring this, why not? Uh, okay, so I need to have a Cali pile. Uh, and then also, oh, I should bring this top, cause it's cute. This top, I think, yes to Cali. Um, anybody else see me wear any cute tops that they think I should bring? <laughs> um, don't know how I feel about any of these. No. Well, this one is a maybe. What about this one? Should I bring this? Should we add this to the maybe pile? It's a long sleeve, so um, we'll add it to the maybe pile. Uh, do I have a pet? I do not. I'm a college student and I feel like I don't, I'm not responsible enough yet to have a pet. Oh, almost fell. Um, pack nothing, buy all new wardrobe is the other option. I do try to pack a little less than like my suitcase because I usually go shopping while I'm in California to be honest. Uh, wait, I forgot I'm not dining out in LA right now. Oh yeah, is everything, what, a, how is like everything open right now in in LA, like what things are open, I guess is my question. Uh, how many days am I staying? So I'm going to be going up and staying with my family for Christmas until the 2nd of January, I'm leaving tomorrow. So I'll be there for like 10 days and then I'll fly out to California for like 12 days. So I'll be gone for like three weeks, essentially. So I need to have an Illinois bag and then I need to have a Cali suitcase is how we're gonna break this down. Uh, what brand was the red top from yesterday? Mm, wait, what did I wear? I, I wore a white top yesterday, I think, but I know what the, are you talking about like the lacy one that I wore with the plaid uh, bottoms? That top I got from Aerie, but I got it a couple years ago, so I honestly don't know if they still sell it. <laughs> Um, hi, hello Sally, how are you? I once packed when my Uber was coming for TwitchCon. <laughs> oh my gosh, I try to usually pack the day before because there have been days where I wait, or like trips where I wait till the day after pack and it's so stressful. Uh, you had 24K viewers today. Oh, no, I did not, wait, what do you mean? Um, all of California is locked down. Dang, park, hiking, golf, but safer at home mandate. Oh, maybe my friends would, would be down to do some hiking or something like that, I think that'd be fun. Should we get a little hiking outfit? For California, it's confusing. There are some restaurants open and some not. Hmm. 
Yeah, well, I'll probably just be like hanging out with my friends and maybe we'll do like a picnic or hiking or something like that. But I wasn't really planning on like doing anything in the city or whatnot anyways. I don't know. I just usually try and see my friends whenever I go out there. So we'll have like our sleepovers or whatever. Um, ew, hiking. You don't like hiking? Hi, hello, Vera. Um, in there, you can go drink coffee and just eat outside and wear masks all the time. That's not too bad. Uh, I was talking about your stream today. Slippity stream today? <laughs> Do you know who Corpse is? He is dropping some merch tomorrow and I'm tempted. Um, I've heard of who he is, but I can't say I've ever watched his streams if I'm completely honest. <laughs> All right, okay, let's continue this. Let's continue this. Um, sports. Mm. Oops, today is April. <laughs> Leggings. A must, I believe. Oops, a daisy. unnecessary what what's the vibe here I don't know what I would possibly be wearing a dress to maybe just to dress up I feel like my friends are always down to like dress up and take cute pictures or something I should probably bring some workout clothes though oh definitely want to bring my little pink white cropped hoodie uh, okay hmm this. These are my shorts. Definitely want to bring those. Oh, how am I gonna break this down? If I have things that I want to wear while I'm in Illinois and while I'm... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'll make a both pile. And then I'll put these things on the top of my suitcase. Yeah, that sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. So I'll bring that hoodie. Uh, yeah, I'll just bring one sweatshirt, honestly. And that should be good. Although, I do kind of want to bring like a cozy hoodie. Maybe I'll bring this too. Or wait, what about my white one that I have? Maybe I should just wear that. Okay, um, that basically is everything for this trip. Um, let me go throw this stuff in the washer really quick. Does that sound good? Um, I once took only a leather jacket during winter in Boston. I got sick. Yeah, that sounds like the perfect way to get sick. So I usually bring a backpack, a carry-on, and one big suitcase. Um, yeah, so I don't ch ever, I'm not allowed to check bags or my parents don't usually want to pay extra for me to check my bags so I'm not gonna bring a checked bag so I'm only gonna have my suitcase but I'm also gonna bring a duffel bag that I'm gonna have for all my uh, clothes that I'm that I'm gonna wear while I'm in Illinois if that makes sense um oh EBT routines a kiss me up oh wait you can't even see it <laughs> um, oh here's the red top that y'all were kind of talking about should I bring this What kind of stuff should I bring? Um, hmm. I don't know. Should I bring my cow top? Oh wait, I can bring this red top to wear with those PJs. Um, I'm gonna bring this top because not. How many cute tops do you guys think I should bring? Should I bring this little cherry top? I'll bring this little cherry top. Why not? Uh, let me go throw all of this stuff into the wash really quick, Clay. Uh, be right back, guys.
apart. It's falling apart. <sighs> uh, Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas to you too, Psych. What about your Christmas onesie? I don't have a Christmas onesie. Um, should I even stream and pack it? Oh gosh, I just messed up my thing. Should I even stream and pack at the same time? Should I just pack tonight? I felt like I should stream though since I'm not going to be able to stream for the next couple of days. But I feel like I'm neglecting you guys. <laughs> what do you think? Do you want me to stream or... I don't know. It's the last stream. Last stream before Christmas. Um... Do, do, do. So I don't know. Stream. Okay, I can stream myself packing. It's an Omega Series chair, so that's a symbol. Oh yeah, it's the size Omega, but it's a Secret Labs chair. But like, the Omega is like the size. Like, the Titan is, like, for if you're taller slash way more, um, and yeah. Does it represent something? I've seen it before. Oh, the Omega? It's it's literally just, like, how the size of it. So, Omega is the smallest size for Secret Labs chair. God of War use it. <laughs> what does that even mean? Okay, wait, let me get out my suitcase and stuff. brands in there I, that I don't know. Wait, brands and where? Well, chat. Well, chat and Kayla, I have to go. Have a great rest of your stream. Okay, bye, Ari. Oh, hi, Maddie Ice. Hello. How are you? She, oh gosh. I want cookies. Um, cute dress. Thank you, Tyson Berry. Hi. Hello, George. How are you? <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? What name your stocks? Wait, what? Are you asking if I have Stocks in the stock market? Because I currently do not. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, so should I... How should I break this down? Should I have both my stuff that I want to... I should probably pack everything that I want to bring to Cali in the suitcase. What if I have more than that? My suitcase is pretty small, if you can't see. It's the size of a little carry-on suitcase. Um, I don't know. If I'm going to be there for 12 days, I should bring at least... Well, there's going to be days where I do nothing, though. Um, hmm. Let us say... We want these new jeans, so maybe I'll bring those. I'll bring this shirt for sure. Um, I can't pack more... Oh my gosh, I thought I heard a scary sound for a second. Did you guys hear that? Was that the music? I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> Uh, do you like, wait, do you use the same clothes back to back like me, like some people? Not usually, to be honest. Um, I would say that I like to spice it up. I have so many clothes. I gotta wear all of them. Um, Tetris Breakdown. Tetris Breakdown woods. Uh, doing well just listening to you while I clean and get ready for Christmas. Same, same, same. That's a small skirt. Well, I'm wearing spandex underneath, so, um, yeah, I don't want you guys to think I'm flashing you or anything. Uh, should I? Let's see. I don't know. How do I want to do this? Let's try on. Okay, so I want to bring this 
I think I want to bring this t-shirt for sure. Oh, I should have thrown it in the wash! Wait, maybe I should go wash it then. But I got this t-shirt. Um... Should I bring this jacket that I got? Kind of cozy vibes. Okay, yes, wait, let me go throw these two in the washer because they came with my shoe. Um, BRB, BRB. Now let's see, what kind of outfits shall I be bringing today? Um, so I'm definitely thinking yes on this like black corset kind of top I have. Um, that's definitely scary. Uh, let's get some bottoms. So we got some cool ripped jeans. One pair of skinny, should I bring one pair of skinny jeans? Yeah, we'll do that. Should I bring this skirt, this Christmas-y kind of skirt? Maybe wear it for Christmas? Uh, just throw out everything, it's that simple. <laughs> Guys, I'm out, I gotta go sleep. Merry Christmas, okay, bye, bye Rob. Merry Christmas to you as well, if I don't see you then. Um, evening everyone. Hi, Bill. Hello. This is harder than my math homework. <laughs> Why? Leggings? Of course I'm gonna bring leggings, but should probably bring, like, a sweater or something cute to wear for, you know, for, for Christmas, right? What should I wear? Should I wear? Should I bring a Christmas outfit? What should I wear for Christmas? What should I wear for Christmas? bras and workout gear stuff, right? I don't know. Anybody ha has anybody seen me wear anything that they think I should bring on this trip? Or, or not? Nah. <laughs> or not really. Should I put my hair up also? Maybe I should do that hairstyle that I did like last night. Like when my hair is like... Like this thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, well, I gotta go. Have a great rest of your night. Oh, okay. Bye, Ari. <laughs> Just throw a bunch of clothes in a bag and I'm done. Your packing is almost stressful. I do feel like packing is stressful. Is packing not stressful for everybody else? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Why does my hair look actually crazy? Um, but I do feel like packing is usually kind of stressful for me because I want to be able to make sure... I don't know. Personally, I'm a big believer that I would much rather overpack than underpack but um i don't know like it's always annoying when like you feel like you need something but you you don't have it you know shy what do you guys think should i have my hair up or should i keep it down 
Which one? Which do you like better? Happy holidays, y'all. Happy holidays to you too, Tyson. Um, up, yes, up. All right, sounds good, Warren. I'll, I'll wear it up. This is how I had it the other day, honestly. Um, I don't know. What kind of stuff should I bring? I should probably bring some cute clothes. So, okay. I definitely want to bring thing that I have. That? Should I bring this for Christmas? With maybe this? This can go for... I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I wear a skirt on Christmas or should I just wear like a sweater? And leggings. I think I'll just wear a sweater and leggings, honestly. Like I could wear this turtleneck sweater with like a pair of leggings. Yes? Who down? Um, okay, hair up is cute AF. All right, I'll wear my hair up then. It, although it's kind of falling down a little. Maybe let me, like, put the clip a little, I don't know, higher or something. Also, I need to bring stuff for me to, for me to freaking uh, stream while I'm there. How am I going to do all of this? How am I possibly going to fit everything that I need into this tiny little suitcase? Traveling during the winter time is also more annoying because my clothes like take up more space other than like my little crop tops or whatever that I wear normally. I don't know. I like the skirt. Thank you, Glistern. How about shoes? Usually I just bring like one or two pair of shoes if I'm completely honest. I'll probably just end up bringing a pair of boots and then my Air Forces uh, is what I'll likely end up just bringing. <laughs> you know, the casual, the usual go-to. Um, Nope, I would take casual clothes, bed clothes, and like one outfit if we're doing something special. Well, I'm hoping to do more than that. Plus, I gotta look cute when I stream, you know? Can't just be looking like a bum 24-7. Uh, should I bring these jeans? That's the real debate. Should I try them on real quick? Let's get okay. No. Nah, it's a nah from me. I don't, need, I don't really be wearing jeans. Should I bring a pair of black jeans? No, I'm also voting no on that. Ooh, okay, okay. What about a Nordic? Usually I do bring a Nordic. Just in case it's a little chilly out. Um, and I'll bring this jacket to keep me warm. Um, you seem like a free people kind of gal. I don't feel like I am. You think I give off like hippie vibes? However that song wins. I need two pair uh, air in my Air Force Ones. Wait, I don't think I've heard of that. Hi, Pusey. Hello. Air compresses the clothes. But <laughs> I don't know. Wait, Warren, is that your way of telling me that you think that I have hippie vibes? Because that's, I just imagine, like, I don't know. I just feel like that's hippie vibes. Mm. Should I bring me shorts? Cozy shorts? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm voting yes. And I will not bring these. Wait, why am I bringing so many pairs of leggings? Do I need to bring this many pair of leggings? Uh, probably not. I have this many pair. Should I bring both my girls? 
gray sweatpants and my pink sweatpants, or should I just bring one? I don't think that I have enough space to bring it all, if I'm completely honest. Um, frick. I'm gonna go with the pink sweatpants. Shoot, how am I gonna do this, y'all? Um, I always viewed it more as like indie style. Do you think I have an indie style? How would you describe, how would you guys describe my sense of style? Uh, that apple juice was good. You had an apple? Because I didn't know free people was hippie. <laughs> I'll use, oh, oh, okay, I see what you mean. So we do, is that what you think my style is like? Are you gonna work out at the Muscle Beach? <laughs> I do kind of want to bring some stuff to work out. Y'all, I just think it's gonna be impossible for me to fit all of my clothes into, like, this is all my bottoms. Like, why do I have so many bottoms? Maybe I don't need to bring this giant hoodie. It's kind of taking up a lot of space. What if I don't have any hoodies? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Packing is stressful. Is packing su not supposed to be stressful? I just assumed packing was also stressful for everybody else. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Well, because I also have to... Hmm, I also have to pack stuff for my streaming. So I have to pack like my mic and like my webcam and all of that kind of stuff up as well. So it's gonna kind of add some shush essentially. What do you guys think? Should I put it in my suitcase or should I put it in like my backpack? So I'm gonna have my backpack too. Gavin, hello, I'm currently packing right now. What's up with you? Why don't you roll up your jeans? Cause how would that help? What do you mean? Roll them up. Hi, hello Tubeslow. Uh, you should probably p play some punk rock for the right vibe. Should I just listen to music? I do kind of like listening to music when I'm packing. Should I? Should I? Or is that a no? Because it's TOS kind of stuff. You know, you know. I don't know. Also, should I put my hair in like a more low style bun? Like a little wrapped up bun instead of this bun? I don't know. Um, but yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi everyone that joined recently. Um... Okay, let me get my freaking streaming stuff out. Um... So I need my mic. I'll probably put all this stuff in my backpack. I'll bring a pair of spandex, cause why not? I'll probably be working out. Hopefully I'll be working out. Y'all, let make sure I work out. <laughs> Help me make sure I work out. Okay, and then I need... Another bag that I can use. I think this should do. This should do. This should get the job done. Oh, 
white t-shirt, say less. Although, actually, no. Uh, I think I should bring this. Ooh, wait. Oh, frick. Fell over, I fell over. Um, should I bring my hot pink top or should I bring my orange top? I kinda like my orange top a little better. Um, I can bring this for a little more casual top. Um, honestly, uh, what, did, what I bring to Illinois doesn't really matter too much. All right, I think that should be enough clothes. <laughs> Anybody think, notice any other? I don't know, think I would be better off with more or less clothes or something of the sorts. Um, not too bad. Should I bring a bathing suit in case I go swimming for some reason? I don't know if that would exactly be super beneficial. I'll bring a cute sports bra in case I go hiking. Um, Anything else that I think is absolutely vital or you guys think that I should not forget to bring? What do I usually forget to bring? Usually forget, well I'll probably wait to pack up like my hairbrush and my makeup until tomorrow. Um, oh, Turkey, you're redeemed to kiss me out. Kissing me out now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, dim jeans, what about dim jeans? What day am I leaving for California? Uh, I'm going to be going on the 2nd of January. Uh, hi, you should roll everything. You can fit more in the suitcase. Trust? That sounds like a lot of work. Maybe I'll re-roll everything once I, if I'm bored while I'm in Illinois. Uh, no streamer stream box. What do you mean I'm right here? Back a sick ass bikini. Well, I don't know. I think it's gonna be way too freaking cold, honestly. Like, I don't feel like, <laughs> like I just think it's gonna be cold. But we can bring one just in case. Why not? Better safe than sorry, I suppose. Uh, which one should I bring? Maybe I will bring... When the heck did I get this bathing suit? Uh, should I bring a pink one? Should I bring... Ooh, maybe I'll bring like my beachy one. Ooh, this one's cute. I, I do like this one. Lots and lots. Um, maybe I should bring something where I can wear like a, uh, like something over it. Oh, me... uh, you've been good. Oh, wait, you've been, wait, you've been have a good stream. Just been packing. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, I don't know when I would go have like a bathing, when, I don't know when I'd be able to wear it. Should I bring like a bathing suit like this? I don't know, but it's probably gonna be pretty cold while I'm there. Like, I don't see it being very warm. Should I bring this one? This one's cute. I don't know. Um, maybe a hazmat suit as well. Oh my gosh, yeah, I imagine all the beaches and stuff are closed. My mom has like a pool at her place, but it's, um, maybe I'll just bring my black bathing suit then. Cause it's like super simple. We can just go with the simple ones. Or should I bring this one? <laughs> I think I'll just bring my black one. There's one part of it. There's the bottoms. If I can find it, because I have so many dang swimsuits. Call me swimsuit obsessed, because it's true. Why do I have so many? Oh my gosh, I can't possibly. Oh wait, and it's already fell out. What the heck? Didn't even notice. Okay, we'll bring one singular bathing suit if for some reason the opportunity 
them arises. Um, I think that should be good. Like that should be everything, honestly. Um, okay, here's my backpack. I gotta take anything I don't need out of my backpack. Um, I got my laptop, my laptop charger, my iPad, um, calculators, unnecessary, take them out. Uh, swimming in winter, I don't know about that, Chief. Well, hey, we'll see. If the opportunity to, sw to swim presents itself, I'll take advantage. If not, then I won't. What is this? Do I need this baby lotion? Probably not, right? Um, what is this? Erasers, huge charging cube. Um, we'll take out the eraser and the mini stapler and tape, I guess. Don't see any reason for those. Uh, but we can bring the huge charging cube. I got my pencil. What is this? An Android charger. Ooh, I should bring a speaker. I should bring a speaker. I always forget to bring speakers. Too cold. Maybe you know someone with a heated pool or jacuzzi. Oh, actually, there is a jacuzzi uh, where my mom lives. Oh, maybe we can do, finally do a freaking jacuzzi stream. Oh, that'd be so fun. I'd be so down. Oh, you would be so, so, so down. Um, okay, bringing my mouse. Check. Uh, what is this? A jank version of my charger. Um, I'll probably bring my char my other charger. I usually bring a few chargers while I'm there. Um, okay, you know, I think I'm gonna take my hair down. I don't know if, I feel like it looks weird. Uh, AirPods, flash drive. No, <laughs> this, is, this is my school backpack, just so if you guys are wondering why I have all these weird things in there. Um, okay, so I will put, my microphone for streaming. Probably in here. I'll probably need like my ring light. I'll definitely need my webcam. Uh, definitely will need this little part. Uh, oh, I should bring my mini bags. white one to Callie or should I bring them all? <laughs> which ones of which ones of these should I bring? Um, hi, hello nice leader. It's Liddy. Merry Christmas everybody. Merry Christmas to you too. Hi Ninja, hello. Yakuzi stream. Hi Blones, hello. You gotta do your math homework. What, what city, LA or San Fran? I'll be um, where I grew up. So it's like close to LA, but I wouldn't consider it LA. Um, okay, so I definitely wanna bring the white one. Should I bring the black one? Let me look at the tops I have. Um, so definitely white one, I would say. Maybe I don't even need to get bring any of my different colored ones. Okay, I'll bring my white one. And then, I think that should be it. I don't think I need to bring my black or my pink one, right? The black one's a pretty good staple piece though. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I bring another, how many some tiny bags should I bring? Uh, how many days are you gonna be there? So I'm gonna be in, um, staying with my family for the holidays. Um, I'm leaving tomorrow and then I'm flying out to California on the 2nd of January. So then I'll, so I'll be there um, for that, for like 10 days. And then I will be in California from the 2nd to the 14th. So I'm gonna be like out of town for like three weeks total. Uh, you're making a mess. I am kind of making a mess, but a good mess, I would like to think. Uh, pink, pink, black bag, green. Green's not even an option. Just bring one bag. Yeah, I think I only need to bring one to Cali, but should I just bring an extra? Nah. Okay, so I'll just bring the, I'll just bring the white one. <laughs> um... So I'm bringing the white one. I'm also gonna be, be bringing this bear one because I love this bear bag. Um, I can realistically hold so much stuff in here. Um, a 
Okay, yeah. So I'm bringing these four things. I will probably end up putting that bear bag in the suitcase when I fly. Uh, let me bring my hydro flask. Low key, kind of wanna. <laughs> Wait, oh, I should bring my speaker. Should I low-key bring this, like, galaxy projector so that I can have a cute background wherever I end up streaming? Okay, well, why not? Hashtag YOLO, I have enough space. Um, okay, I think that this is about good, if I'm honest. I feel like I'm basically packed. Um... Should I bring any pairs of sunglasses with me? I have my little Ziplocs of bag. Oh, oh, thank you, Bang and Tune. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the sub. Oh my gosh, thank you. Mwah. I appreciate that. Welcome back to the Dumpling Squad. Um, but yeah, hi, hello, how are you, Bang it? Um, I don't think you will need that in LA. What do you mean? Need what in LA? Wait. Huh? Um, what do I want for Christmas chat? <laughs> or what do, you, what do you want for Christmas chat? Hi. Well, yeah, let's see. I don't know. Hopefully I get a new phone for Christmas. That's what I want. Uh, oh, hey, Barack Obama. My name is Kaylee May. Previously known as Kaylee May. I love cute things like Mio and Pablo. I also love to work out and eat. Also love to study. Hella cute. Just, oh. <laughs> Thank you, Barack Obama. Should I bring one of my stuffed animals? Guys, how am I supposed to sleep without my stuffed animals for the next three weeks? <sighs> Uh, so what did I do today? Uh, I was kind of running around today, um, honestly. Like, I had a bunch of stuff I had to do before I um, was going out of town. So I was kind of running around doing all that stuff, but nothing too bad. Should I bring these sunglasses? I feel like I like these sunglasses, so I'm voting yes on these. I'm voting yes on this. Do you think I need a belt? I don't really wear belts anymore, if I'm completely honest. I feel like they're not as in style as they used to be. Um, okay, I'll bring these as my fashionista glasses. Um, and then that's it for accessories, I believe. Um, Hmm, I'll just set these aside. Uh, probably need something for all my jewelry, huh? Uh, yes, they're so cute. Thank you, hug pillow stuffed animal. Too much space or buy one in LA. Ugh, fine. Fair, fair, fair. Um, my ass up from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Oh my gosh, why were you sleeping so much? Um, don't leave me. Where are you off to? And also, how are you? I'm doing good. Um, I'm gonna be going out of town to go spend Christmas with the fam and New Year's as well up there. Um, yeah, so leaving tomorrow and then I'm going to be going to Cali shortly thereafter. Bring snacks for the flight. I'm not flying out until the second, guys, so I'm just kinda... I'm gonna be going up to visit family and flying straight from going there, which is why I have to pack in advance, if that makes sense. Uh, can I hang out here? I'm sure, of course, KP. You're my age, but I want my daughter to be like you. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I think you're taking way too much stuff. Well, only the suitcase stuff is going to Cali. This other bag right here is just what I'm bringing to Illinois and has my like warmer clothes and stuff in it. Anyways, anything that I decide I don't want to bring to Cali or is unnecessary, I can just leave in Illinois because I'm gonna because they're picking me up from the airport anyways, so I'm gonna get all my stuff. If that makes sense. So uh, yeah, two weeks. I'll be gone for like three weeks. Um, because I'm leaving tomorrow and then I won't be coming back until like the 14th or 15th. I don't even know honestly who's going to take care of the stockmen. Oh no, I'm gonna bring the stockmen. So I actually need to put them on like a bag and stuff like that, but I'll be mailing them out. Maybe I should put do that now. Do you think that they could all fit in here? No. Too small. Uh, I think they can fit in here. 
toiletries and stuff tomorrow obviously after I shower and everything where can I buy one of those socks <laughs> the day to get the days to get a sock snowman have unfortunately passed although you can still get a car today uh, New Year's going to be trash in LA well I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be there for New Year's so like I said I'm not flying out to Cali until uh, the second um she taking a whole vacation basically maybe I should okay so my mom does have a jacuzzi and if I'm going to be doing jacuzzi streams, maybe, or like one or two jacuzzi streams, should I bring more than one bathing suit? I can bring like, why don't I bring, why don't I just bring two? Nothing too crazy, just two bathing suits. Uh, if I can find the bottoms to these. I can bring these two. <sighs> Uh, yes, why not? They're tiny. That's what I'm saying. They don't even, like, take up that much space or anything. Um, bring a variety. Oh, well, okay. I'm bringing two. I brought, like, my simple black one that I like to wear, and then I brought, like, a little flowery one that's a little cuter. Uh, hi, Arno Prince. Hello. Um, oh, Johnny Z, it seems to hug Mio. Hugging Mio now. Hug, hug, hug. Um, Breakling, wait, Breakling Chrome Meter 18K2 Tone Watch for 2020. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I already didn't hug you. Yeah, sorry, I just did it. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you, Johnny T? Um, anything new in your life or anything like that? Here, let's put my glasses. Well, I'll probably be watching TV today <laughs> or tonight. Let's put my glasses over here. Uh, forget those. Um, I think that's basically everything. Oh, let me remember to bring my corded headphones just because, um, you know, my laptop and stuff. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous about how these streams and everything will go. Um, I think that's basically it. And then I just have like my makeup and stuff. I need to, <gasps> my makeup. Usually I would try to fit that stuff into my suitcase, but my suitcase is looking a little full. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll probably finish up packing after I stream. Uh, my gift to myself. Oh, that's what you got yourself? Wait, what is it? Uh, take a frying pan just in case. Oh my goodness. You gonna stream? Uh, yes. What about underwear? Yeah, I was gonna wait to pack my underwear and bras and stuff until after stream. Um, but I figured it was good to do, to get most of it out of the way. I feel like we have a good variety of clothes, honestly, so. Um, yeah, I'll probably also end up going shopping while I'm there. <laughs> Uh, how do we forget? Forget what? A frying pan? It's just a watch. I collect watches. Oh, I had an Apple watch, but I left it at a friend's before winter break and she went out of town. So now I don't have my watch. Unfortunately, I won't have it for a while. Uh, Kelly beach streamer? No, it might be a little chilly at the beach. So we'll figure it out. We'll see. We'll see essentially. Um, I will, tr I'll probably go to the beach, but maybe I'll like wear like a hoodie or something like that, you know? 
uh, while the elves are letting you pack before they take you and put you under my tree. So nice of them. Oh my goodness. I also have Apple Watch. Yeah, I'm not a big watch person. And honestly, the only thing I really use my Apple Watch for is like pinging my phone whenever I can't find it. By far the most useful feature of an Apple Watch. Um, but outside of that feature, I don't really use it a ton. My dad got the latest iPhone and I'm here with my 8S. <laughs> Why don't you like take your dad's old iPhones? I feel like it's like a common thing for like whenever someone's parents get new iPhones, like they get the older version or whatever, you know? <laughs> I don't know, is that not, is that not the huge? Not the huge? Or yes, the huge. We'll see. Um, okay, how long should I stream for tonight? Do you guys want me to just chill for like another hour or so and then um, call it a day and I finish up packing? Sound good? I'm gonna go pee really quick. Um, so I'm gonna go pee and then I will be right back guys, so BRB. Okay, hello, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Um, and yeah, I think we can just chill for a little while longer, and then um, I will finish up packing later. Oh, you can see my ink went through the socks. <laughs> um, hi, hello, Janae. I have three Rolexes, shoot, big ballin' I see, big ballin'. Um, Good night, just came to say hello. Oh, okay, bye, Barack Obama, if you're even still here. Thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out for a little bit. <laughs> um, I love the piano Christmas music. Yeah, we're listening to some, like, lo-fi Christmas beats. Um, okay, there. Sorry, I had to close the lot. Um, just a collector. What do you mean, just a collector? A collector, oh, a collector of watches. <laughs> I can see, I can see. No transportation. Rip, yeah, I don't have a car, anything like that. Hi, hello, G-Boy. Sorry, I didn't see your message all the way up there. Um, I love watches. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm not, a, I don't know. I don't care much for watches or whatever. Watches on guys. I know there's lots of guys that like are super into watches though. Um, I'm craving windy nuggets, but I'm too sick to want to drive. Oh my gosh, that actually sounds fire. I'm kind of hungry right now. I'll probably just like make myself some food and watch anime and chill tonight though, so nothing too, too crazy. Um, hi, hello, so sockids. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, I'm sweepy. Why are you sweepy? <laughs> if I sold all my watches, I could get a sports car. Oh my gosh, how expensive are these watches? Well, I guess Rolexes are probably pretty expensive. 
watch anime? Yes. I've been, okay, so I've been watching a Kame Ga Kill, and forget everything I ever said about it being an all right or average show. It's so good. I was watching it last night, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually getting so freaking good right now. I don't know. I like it a lot, okay? I definitely think that it was started off a little slow, but I feel like the more I watch it, it's definitely getting better. <laughs> Um, what episode am I on? Um, I think I'm on episode like 14 or 15, so I'm like decently into the show by now. What anime are you watching? I'm watching a comic got kill. Uh, you were so not into it last night. I know, but then I was watching it like last night and also earlier this morning. And I don't know, I was like, why did I think that this show was not good? Like it was just getting crazy. I think it's just getting better. I just, that's what I honestly think is happening is that the show is getting better the more I watch it. Um, you know, watches are cool and a lot can be really beautifully designed, but sure is a pricey hobby if you're talking about Rolexes, Omega, etc. That's what I'm saying. It sounds like a very pricey, pricey hobby. I wish I never watched a Kame. What? Okay, I want to ask you why, but I also don't want to know because no spoilers. You can tell me why after I finish the show. How does that sound, Glister? You know, sometimes I just like watching, I, I, not sometimes, all the time. I prefer watching shows like completely untainted by other people's opinions. You know what I mean? Like I want to discuss the show and hear your opinion after I finish watching it. Cause like if somebody, like for example, like Seven Deadly Sins, I feel like when I said I was watching it, so many people said that they didn't like the last season. And so when I got to the last season, like I had all these kind of like negative expectations, but I loved the last season. So I don't know. I definitely feel like I was like waiting. I was like, oh, it's probably gonna get shitty at some point. And it just never did. So I just think I need to be able to form my own opinions aside from other people's opinions, you know? Have you watched the Castlevania anime on Netflix? I've not. I've heard it was pretty good though. It's like only one season, right? My ex tried to get me to like anime and it didn't work, but then the Pug Champ meme came and it made me like anime. Wait, well, how did a meme make you like anime exactly, Janae? Huh? <laughs> I'm curious. I want to know. I want to know. Oh shoot. My mom is telling me to buy my plane ticket. I really need to. I'm probably gonna do that tonight. I have so much to do tonight. Okay, yeah, guys, I probably won't be streaming for much, terribly much longer. Uh, I really liked it. It's like three seasons now, I think, but pretty short seasons. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if it's like really that close to the top of my list, if I'm completely honest. There's so many animes that I want to watch. Like, I want to watch Demon Slayer. I want to watch Tokyo Ghoul. So I kind of have a few, a lot stacked up at the moment. What airline, um, I don't know if I should say what airline I'm flying, I feel like that might be, especially because of the dates. I won't specify the airline, how's that, an unnamed airline. Um, am I moving? No, I'm just going out of town for the holidays. Um, I'll be out of town for like three weeks or so, so we'll see how that affects my streaming. Weebs, talking about weeb stuff again. Hey, I can't help it, I'm, a, I'm an anime addict now, all right? OMG, I love that airline, they're the best. <laughs> yeah, they're just so, they're just so amazing, right? Aren't they? <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see, how long, how much long? Should I do like a two and a half hour stream? Maybe I'll stream for like 30 more minutes or something? I don't know, I feel like I'm sitting here and thinking about more and more stuff I have to do and it's kind of stressing me out. Distract me, chat. Distract me, please. Um, uh, creasets are good. What are creasets? Because her flight is a private plane. Yeah, guys, I'm taking a freaking private jet. You guys already know, big ballin'. I wish. Actually, private jets are terrible for the freaking environment. Uh, never, never fly on a private jet, y'all. Um, hashtag have fun. Thank you, hey how. Do you want a business lounge before the flight? I have four that expires before I can go. Wait, what even is a business lounge? If they don't give out free cookies, I don't want to fly. True, Loki, those airplane cookies are so good. Like little biscuit ones. Do you know what I'm talking about? I feel like they're so good. Um, it made wait, it made me like anime because I realized anime girls are hot. <laughs> anime girls are hot. Shit. If you're trying to see some like sexy bitches, I would say we should watch Seven Deadly Sins. <laughs> um, hi, hello, Icy. How are you doing today? How's everybody doing today? Anybody do anything particularly fun or exciting? It's for business and first class fly, fly wait, flyers? They have like food, drinks, and a private lounge at airport. Oh, I'm not gonna be getting to my flight early enough for that. I literally, one time, I thought that, um, 
like the boarding time was actually the time that the plane left at and I literally got to the airport at the boarding time and I was like Frick. I don't know I'm like reputable I'm surprised that I've yet to like miss a flight yet but there have been some very close call moments where I've been like the last person to get on a flight <laughs> Anime girls be going crazy hard sometimes. <laughs> True, not those cookies go crazy. They're so freaking good. I low-key always want to ask for extras, but uh, I always chicken out and never do. Uh, I have a crush on Claudine from Monster High. I don't even know who that is. Did you say some sexy bitches? I did just say some sexy bitches. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all are kind of wild in. I'm getting really hungry though. Maybe I'll tap out and just do this quick two hour stream. Anybody opposed? I mean, maybe I can, I'm gonna try and stream tomorrow. I don't really have no idea what to do. I just have so much stuff I have to do before I leave y'all. Uh, hi YBN, hello. The scientists are advising not to travel, so I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going anywhere for vacation. I'm going to just go see my family for the holidays, probably not do anything too crazy, but I didn't get to see my mom this summer because of COVID, so it's been like a year since I've seen my mom, and so I feel like I'm a little overdue. Should definitely go out and see the fam, you know? My sister does that with flights. She's missed them. Busy check-in slash security. You might miss a flight if you're late. Yeah, no. No, that was like one time. I usually try and get there like 30 minutes before boarding time or whatever, but um, I don't know when I fly alone. Like I don't like waiting at the airport for a long time for flights, you know? I got hella hoes. Oh, I believe you. Is your email on your page? Wait, what do you mean is my email? I don't think my email's on my page. Wait, what do you mean? My page. Uh, we're not worth 2.5 hours. It's fine. No, I'm just thinking about the things that I have to do and get ready before I leave tomorrow. That's all. Getting a little stressed. <laughs> a little worked up, but I did get all dressed up for stream and stuff like that. So, you know, I can chill with y'all for a while. Uh, nice stockings. Thank you, Janae. Um, I will whisper you if that's okay. Okay, sounds good. Oh, yeah. And then I see I have to go through all my whispers. I want to write all of these cards and stuff so I can be ready to send everything out tomorrow. I have so much to do, y'all. Should I make a little to-do list for myself, or do you think do you think to-do lists help you be more focused, or they stress you out more? Sometimes I feel like to-do lists stress me out a little more. Definitely get your stuff done if you need to. Yeah, well, I just don't want to like stay up super late, but it's, I guess it's not like I'm leaving super late. I'll probably leave in like the afternoon time to drive on up to the Chicago area. Um, hi, hello, Blue. <laughs> just wing it. Oh my gosh, what do you mean just wing it? Hi, hello, Jaden. How are you? <laughs> I've also, oh, wait, I have so many leftovers that I need to eat, Loki. I have Chipotle in there. I still have a little bit of my Domino's. I'll let it have some of my Domino's for lunch today. Um, but I think I basically ate all of my curry. Because the curry was so good, guys. I was hella, I was just way too addicted to it, honestly. Um, Good, that's good to hear, Jaden. Hi, hello, Alika, how are you? Um, surprise, you don't have an app for you for to do lists on a phone. I don't. I mean, I have like my Google Keep and stuff, which I kind of treat like my school planner, so I'll put like my homework assignments and stuff via Google Keep, but I don't just have like a general to do list that I do. But I feel like with packing and stuff like that, like. I definitely feel like it's beneficial to create some kind of list, at least of like things that I need to bring, you know? Um, hi, hello, ulti, wait, ultimate cyber, how are you? Uh, can you help me to escape to Latin America? Wait, what? Uh, it feels good to be subbed to you. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're also subbed. <laughs> um, if a person dies at sea and only their arm is recovered, how would this... How would he be displayed in a casket? Does it need to be a full-sized casket? He wouldn't be displayed in a casket. That's the answer. Um, yeah, they only really have open caskets for like fully intact bodies, but that's why when people are like brutally murdered and stuff like that, yeah, they wouldn't be. Not every being displayed in a casket is not, I would say is a less common thing. Like, cause you have to pay for the body to be embalmed and stuff like that. Like, I feel like most people don't do open casket funerals. And like, that's only also if you, like, you bury your dead. Cause I feel like a lot of people like want to be cremated. Like I want to be cremated. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep at two. Okay, don't stay up too late. Red and white look good. <laughs> hey, gotta go with the Christmas vibes. 
Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Bats. Where is Snowman? Um, oh, they're all in their bag, packed away, ready to be shipped off now. Um, I like your pillow in the background. Oh, my little Mio. <laughs> He's a deer. Um, I like your hair. Thank you, Jaden. Um, wait, you're going to Cali? I am. I'm going on the 2nd. I'm going on January 2nd, so I'll still be in Illinois for a little while. Um, oh, and I, I see I still need to buy my plane tickets tonight. I feel like there's so much I can do. Frick. Uh, I want to die in space. Why do you want to die in space, David? I like the white pillow. Oh, just the, the just the plain, the plain white pillow. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that, then, I suppose. Um, hmm, maybe I should write a to-do list. Your, your cut? Your cut? What the, what the what? Do a Q&A stream. All right, Q&A, go. If you guys have any questions for me, ask away. Right now, here is your chance to have all your questions answered. What kind of questions would I feel like I even be answering? I feel like there will be changes. Wait till the hours start tomorrow, December 4th. Testing sites will be closed on the 24th, oh, 24th, 24th, 31st. Ooh. Um, have I ever ran with scissors? Um, probably, but I try not to make it a habit. Where do you live in Illinois? Do you like floors? Floors are okay. Holy moly. Hi. Space is gorgeous. Space is gorgeous, but I feel like I will probably never go to space in my lifetime, honestly. Hi, Super Saiyan Marcus. Hello, hello. Uh, do you eat pizza upside down? I do not. Thank you for the nine bits, D Detective Robles. Do you like cake? Honestly, no. I'm not a huge fan of cake. Why is one of your nails short? Oh, it just broke. I, I wanted to... <gasps> I wanted to go and get it fixed. Maybe I could go super early tomorrow morning. Oh, I wanted to get this nail fixed before I went out of town. Frick. I put a tra channel trailer for you, why not? <gasps> Should we watch the channel trailer, guys? Oh my gosh, wait, let's watch it. I'm down. I'm down. Let's pause the beats. Let's pause the lo-fi beats. Let me put my headset on really quickly. We gotta watch this, guys. We have to. Would it be in videos? Hey! <coughs> oh, gosh. Excuse me. Bad boy. Who made this D Day, of course? <laughs> There's leaving creature. Hey. <laughs> oh my gosh, mate, I loved it. I loved the scene with all the freaking udon when my mom said those to me. <laughs> Not the dancing. Do you like spicy food or sweet food? Uh, I'm not a huge fan of sweets, honestly, but I can't eat super spicy. I have a low spice tolerance. Loving the outfit. Thank you, Pizan. Um, what? Wait, why did you cut the nail? Cause we're, I didn't cut it. It just broke. Oh, frick. No, no, no. Okay, we can put the beats. Lo-fi beats. Um, do, 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 do. Um, oh, thank you, Kemberson. Not bad. Like it. Do you guys like it so memey? <laughs> I definitely think it feel like it was funny vibes. I like the oh the song that played over it. It's not a published song, so no DMCA. Ah, FYI, it has to be under 59 seconds. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, sorry. I forgot to turn the volume down. Music was loud, probably, so I apologize. Uh, the video was so good. Hey, credits to D-Day. Amazing mod making my channel trailer for me. Thank you for making that, by the way, D-Day. I appreciate that. Um, if I die, let them bury me in a dimple. What? Um, hello, I just moved, so that's why I missed the streams. Oh, well, welcome back, Weekly Wari. How have you been? Do you like your room? I love my room. <laughs> if a vampire bites a zombie, does the zombie become a vampire, or does the vampire... 
I think it's whoever bites who, the person that got that gets bitten gets turned into the other one. So they got it. It's a race of whoever can bite who the fastest. Good. How about you? I've also been fairly good. I would say I'm a little hungry right now, but probably won't be streaming terribly longer. So much to do. Let me ask my vampire friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> Either I wait either i eat your mouth that reads my name what does that even mean i look you want free wi-fi at my funeral oh my gosh honestly i don't even know i don't think i'm gonna i don't know what kind of how do i envision my funeral i simply do not envision my funeral really mostly up to my loved ones whatever makes them feel better but honestly i really could care less about a funeral uh what are your thoughts about palettes what do you mean pallets? What are what are pallets? If I die, let them bury me in a dumpling. <laughs> a dump let me get, let me just get a dumpling, a dumpling casket, please. Uh, I have 6k channel points, so what should I do with them? Whatever you want to do with them. You can always save them up for something bigger or spend them now. Um do, 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 my my funeral better have free Wi-Fi or else. Yeah, honestly, I have no nothing to say about <laughs> I, I feel like, I don't know, I don't really imagine my, especially because, like, I'm not religious, so, like, I don't feel like I really have a way to, like, I don't care about how my funeral is. Like, I don't want my funeral to be at a church or anything like that. You know what, I would even go so far as to say that I wouldn't care, really, if I had a funeral or not. Maybe I would even prefer to not have a funeral. Oh, I don't know. It depends how old I am and stuff like that, you know? Uh, favorite actor? I would not say that I really have a favorite actor. I used to really like Eddie Redmayne, uh, especially after I saw him in Theory of Everything. Um, but I don't, I don't think I really have one anymore. Um, let me see those nails anyway. Oh, here are my nails. They're, like, white. Uh, I got them, like, they have, kind of have some sparkles on them, but I don't know if you guys can really see that. Uh, I like your chair. Thank you. It's a Secret Labs chair. Uh, I told my mom I want to die due to a late lightsaber battle with my best friend. Okay, well, I wish you the very best of luck with that premium. Uh, celebrity crush? I, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think that, I, I don't like celebrity culture. I don't think that I really, like, I don't, I'm not, like, thirsting over random celebrities that I absolutely have no idea of. Like, I can appreciate a sexy man, but I feel like... Like, you know, like, if you're attractive and stuff, like, I can, like, I'll, I'll know, like, I'll say that you're attractive, like, I can recognize attractive people, but, like, if I don't ultimately know somebody, like, there's lots of people, I think, that are attractive out there, you know? I can appreciate a sex <laughs> Uh, best nail length for back scratch, oof. <laughs> donate your body to science. I would donate my body to science, honestly. I told my mom I want to- oh, I already read that. What's my favorite movie? Uh, I don't think I have a favorite movie. I have a favorite couple movies. I like Spirited Away, Wolf of Wall Street because I'm a business major. It has to be in there. Uh, I like Great Gatsby because of the cinematography. Uh, I would say um, Sinister, probably one of my favorite scary movies. Um, yeah, those are probably like one of some of my top movies that I like. Uh, your socks fire, thank you. Uh, the Lorax is very sexy. You do have that big old bushy mustache. <laughs> the chick who played Penny in Big Bang Theory. Has she ever been in anything else? I'm trying to, I know what that actress looks like, but I can't remember what she looks like in anything else. Um, please tell me why you look like, what? Oh, like an anime character? How do I look like an anime character? Oh, English only in the chat, please. Please, please, please. Uh, I can't understand what you're saying if it's not English, and my mods can't moderate you, so please, English only in the chat. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. um oh my goodness, that, I'm talking to you, bat. <laughs> What are my favorite tacos? I wouldn't say I really have favorite tacos. I did have Taco Bell last night, though, and it was amazing. Um, yo, Penny was the best in Big Bang Theory, though, except for Sheldon, of course. Big Bang Theory just reminds me of my grandparents. Like, I feel like my grandparents have watched Big Bang Theory, and that's... So, yeah, I can't say that I've, nev I've ever seriously watched Big Bang Theory. Usually it's like my grandma's watching it or something while we go over there. Taco Bell. Oh! I love Taco Bell! Taco Bell is so good! Oh my goodness. 
What's my favorite music? <sighs> I would say I mostly listen to like pop slash hip hop slash like trap kind of music. I don't know. I just like listening to music that makes me feel happy. I'm not. A, I don't really listen to sad boy music, which I feel like is another popular genre that I don't really vibe with. I like listening to music that puts me in a good mood. I'm Mexican. I'm going to taco stands for tacos. A fair point. Taco stand tacos are the best. Nothing notable. I think she is in a new series right now about flight attendants' adventures. Sounds lame. I just realized your fit looks like Red Riding Hood cosplay. How does this look like Red Riding Hood? I don't feel like it does. Um, hi, hello, Cyber. Uh, yo, trying to chill at my crib in a NorCal. What? BBT was a eh, Big Bang Theory. Some good moments, but also cringy at times. Yeah, I feel like Big Bang Theory is just kind of a sitcom. It is a sitcom, right? Technically. I don't know, but I feel like it's kind of in that category. Oh my goodness, please don't spam in the chat. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've given you multiple warnings. Um, but yeah, please don't spam in the chat. Um, how's everybody doing tonight? Just stopping by to say what? Oh, thank you, Reddy, that's so sweet. Uh, never ate tacos in my life. Need to try that ASAP. Everyone's saying it's lit AF. How have you never had tacos? How is that possible? What accent did you deaf people think in? I definitely think that you are capable of thought without language. Yeah, um, not everybody has a little voice that's like constantly talking. Like, I don't know. I feel like some people when they think it's like a voice and it's like words, but some people like the way that they think it's not like through words. Like they think through ideas. Like, I don't think that I, I would say like there are, I occasionally have narrators, but I feel like I can think about something without words. Does that make sense? Like, you know, like, I don't think that, like, not everybody thinks with a, with a little internal narrator. Some people don't have that. And some people do have that. Um, I don't know. So you might have it. You might not. Who is my favorite nineties boy? I don't really have, well, who is, I don't even know what that means. Um, inner monologue. Yes. The inner monologue images. Yeah. Not everybody has like an inner monologue like that. Um, it does sound lame, doesn't it? She's a huge animal lover, though, has a whole rescue farm where she has, like, a dozen dogs and chickens and ducks. Oh, wait, that actually sounds pretty cute, maybe. <laughs> um, but I don't, wait, I don't know if you need to, but wait at least a month. Wait at least a month for what? Well, I haven't been to U.S. yet, that's why. Hopefully COVID passed and we won't fly again. I'm trying to visit L.A. next year, hopefully. Oh, yeah, well, I hope you get the opportunity to visit, although I would say that you could definitely get tacos in better places than the U.S. I talk a lot in my head, and sometimes I don't know if I'm actually talking, so I'll be in the middle of church wondering if I was cussing aloud. <laughs> Hi, hello, Dedru. Um, can I say something? Sure, Jaden. Do you listen to Halsey? No, I don't. Have you ever dated... Uh, I have not. Wait, let me think. No, I would... I actually have not. Um, haven't dated a ton of people during my lifetime though. Uh, imagine thinking in pictures. I don't know. I don't feel like I constantly have an inner monologue. Like I think that I am capable of thought without an inner monologue. Like I feel like that would be restricting, you know? I bought my girl a 2K necklace with a diamond pendant. Wait, a 2K necklace? Like a, like a, like the video game? <laughs> Why do, wait, what do blind people dream of? Y'all don't be having dreams where you don't see anything. It's just all, I can dream in ideas. And those are the hardest dreams to ever talk about. I feel like I don't always see things when I'm dreaming. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like my dreams are not continuous and they make absolutely no sense if I talk about it. But I can dream without seeing things, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know, it's so weird. Like my dreams are nothing like my realities. Like, I don't know, I sometimes I feel like I have weirdly realistic dreams, but usually my dreams are nothing like my reality, like is nothing like reality. Like I can dream without continuity, like shit's kind of skipping around. I feel like I can dream without like seeing things, but like I have like ideas of things. Like I know what's happening in my dream, but like I, if I were to try to explain it or like imagine what, or like, I don't know, I usually like instantly forget my dreams. Um, oh, thank you, Jaden. Hi, hello, Ashley. How are you? I got in trouble for saying, wait, what? Huh? 
I, um, I don't try to think, always try to clear my head. Uh, well, I think that having a clear head can be advantage in some situations and thinking can also, you know? Or you can catch something that lasts longer than nine months. Wait, what? <laughs> Which armrest is yours in the movie theater? Both. Oh, all, all, both sides of me. Lucid dreaming is so fun. Uh, I feel like I only used lucid dream when I was young, but now usually when I like realize that I'm dreaming when I'm dreaming I just like force myself to forget it I'm like nope 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 stop thinking about that and then I thought we can go back to dreaming like I don't like realizing that I'm in a dream when I'm in a dream You know my dreams are lit, but rarely happens. See I dream like every night But like I don't ever I don't usually remember my dreams. Hi. Hello. I eat swagger. How are you? <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I feel like whenever I realize I have a dream, I usually just like force myself to forget it in the dream. My dreams are also like very confusing and nothing like reality. Um, sometimes I feel like my dreams are a little reflective of like my thoughts. Like if I'm thinking about something a lot, like I'll dream about it, for example. Um, I used to have like bad dreams semi often. I would say I still occasionally have pretty bad dreams. I realized I was dreaming for the first time recently. Really? I feel like it used to happen all the time when I was a kid, but like I've just like conditioned myself that like I don't want to know what I'm dreaming when I'm dreaming. Like I just like I just want to enjoy the dream. Uh, I'm scared of Momo. Why are you scared of Momo? How come you're going to Cali? Uh, I have my mom. My mom lives there in Cali, and I didn't get to visit her this summer because sad face, sad face, COVID, all that stuff. But so it's been like a year since I've gotten to see her. So I'm finally getting to go out there. Um, but I'm not going out there till the second. No wonder why I dream about bad bitches all the time. I dream random things, really. Are you scared of Momo because I'm, am, no. I think it's better you realize it's a dream. Why though? See, I feel like that's like kind of, I feel like, I feel like only like a control freak would say that. Like, I feel like I can, I, I like to just enjoy dreaming for dreaming, you know? Like if I wanted reality, if I wanted like conscious awareness, like I would just be awake at that point. <laughs> Which part of Cali does she live in? LA? She lives like by LA, so like 30 minutes away from LA. If that makes sense. Um, but yeah, um, I'm kind of hungry. Should I go get food? I can fly in my dreams, but I still can't dunk. <laughs> yeah, usually once I realize it's a dream, I wake up pretty fast, which is why I force myself to forget it. Like once I realize it's a dream and then I try to do anything, I'll just instantly wake up. So yeah, don't usually like realizing. Um, but yeah, wait, should I eat after I stream or should I go get food and then eat it? And then once I finish it, end stream. Let me go see what kind of food I have. If I have any more of my curry and rice, I think that I'll probably go eat that. BRB, guys.
Okay, um, I don't think, I think I'm just gonna, I have to like cook something. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Um, I'll stream for like 10 more minutes or so. Sound good. Uh, it's 100% aware. Wait, I'm 100% aware I'm dreaming in my dream. All the time? I don't think that's possible. Um, I hope you do anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, you think my name is sexy? I don't think that names can really be sexy. Uh, somehow we never realize when we fall asleep. I don't know. I feel like that's not. I feel like that's only tr that's only true if you're if it's difficult for you to fall asleep. I feel like the older I've gotten, like the easier it is for me to fall asleep. Like I feel like now there are times where like I can just lay down and be like I'm going to sleep and like instantly fall asleep. I only have nightmares, TBH. What do you mean? I dream about being a woman and a billionaire. <laughs> Sounds like an amazing dream, honestly. I have to go to sleep. Have a good stream. See you next year. Oh, okay. Bye, Janae. <laughs> Uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll see you before then. Names can be sexy if the name is literally sexy. <laughs> Maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Yes, I can. Yes, you can what? <laughs> I only dream about murder and death. Does that mean something? Uh, that means that you probably think about those two things a lot. I will say that like dreams mostly are basically your brain processing information and kind of like storing it. So if you think about something a lot, like you're likely going to dream about it. And not all dreams are like symbolic in a sense, but I feel like they can at least like show things that you think about a lot or are on your mind a lot. Is this the last stream until next year? No, it's not, no, it's not. Um, I probably won't be streaming for tomorrow or the day after for Christmas, even Christmas, because I'll be with my family. Um, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated. So if you're not following my Twitter, you should definitely follow my Twitter because that's where I'll be keeping you guys updated. And especially since I'll be traveling slash out of town, um, there'll be like it'll, my stream schedule will be a lot more like hectic. So definitely follow my Twitter if you're not following it, because that's where I will keep you guys updated about stuff. Uh, I'm training now for you. Training for- wait, training? What do you mean training? Jeez, Gavin is such a sexy name. I wish I knew a Gavin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I'm training- oh, oh, already read that. If they're nearby or dreams can come from people you've been making out with if they're nearby. Yeah, I don't know if I would agree with that. Oh, there comes Nightbot coming to lick a time with the socials, plugging in chat. Oh my goodness. And if I lose the dream, the murder and death, is it bad? No. I don't think so. Uh, the worst and good feeling is when you wake up and realize it wasn't true. I don't know. I don't, I, like I said, like, I don't like realizing that I'm in a dream when I'm dreaming. Like, I just like enjoying the dream. Uh, oh, keeping us updated, Fancy. Of course, of course. So what does it mean if I had a dream where I was riding a flying elephant through a bunch of barrels in circle formation? I don't think it means anything. Like I said, I don't think that, I think that dreams are usually not symbolic. Like I feel like my dreams are usually pretty random. If I'm thinking about something a lot, maybe I'll have a dream about it, but I would say like most of my dreams are just kind of like random shit or maybe kind of just involving something that I thought about that day. It'll pop something. Does that make sense? Once you know something, you become the authority on it. What? You're at the center of the universe? I would disagree with that. What are you going to Cali for? To visit my family. My mom lives there and I haven't seen her in like a year because I didn't get to go during COVID. Ah, uh, oh, thank you for seeing Agenda Stephen. Hi, hi, hi to y'all back. How are you? Um, I meant when you wake up and you're glad the dream wasn't true or when it's a good dream so you feel bad it wasn't true after waking up. Y'all, you know, one thing that I do feel like, I feel like I've never actually had like, eh, uh, never mind. Um, is owning slash liking guns a deal breaker for you even if they don't hunt? Well, I feel like it's weirder if they don't hunt. At that point, why the hell are you... I, wouldn't, I don't know about a deal breaker, but like, I don't think that I would ever want to live with somebody that owned, like I wouldn't ever want a gun in my house. So if I was like dating somebody and we were gonna move in together and like they had a gun, I'd be like, I wouldn't feel comfortable with you bringing that into our shared living space. So you're gonna have to either sell it or whatever. But if I'm just dating them or something, I guess it doesn't, it's not an immediate deal breaker. I just personally wouldn't want one in my household. Um, hi, hello Sebastian, how are you? Um, have you ever been able to fly in a dream? Best I can do are epic moon jumps and then I wake up before flying. Yes, when I was very young, I was a much better lucid dreamer. Self-defense or just shooting targets at a shooting range? 
think that, um, yeah, I mean, that's answering my question. I feel like if I found out someone I was talking to or dating had guns, I wouldn't like break up with them because of it. But once it became like we were living together, that would be a conversation that I would bring up. Um, what if it's like a full on a bunch of tanks? Uh, what if they told you the same, that they wouldn't live with me if they couldn't bring their gun? Then I would just be like, okay, I guess we're not moving in together. I guess we gotta break up. <laughs> Uh, so you want me to somehow get rid of my arms? No guns allowed? <laughs> I mean, I don't feel like that's a big deal. Like, I feel like if I'm really dating somebody and we're to the point where we're gonna move in together, one of... Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna choose my guns over you, at that point, I don't even want to be with that person. <laughs> like, if it's that much of a debate, I'm like, oh, well, maybe I should have brought this talk up earlier or something. Uh, nobody likes juice pops more than me. I'm sorry, I think I'm sleep deprived. I am indeed strapped like I'm Winnie the Pooh. Like, I don't think that owning guns is a bad thing. Like, I just personally would not feel comfortable living in a house that a gun is in. I would feel more endangered in that situation than feel safe. <laughs> Damn, I hope most girls don't think like that. I mean, I, I think that I'm sure that there's lots of girls out there that don't care or anything like that, but I don't think that there's anything wrong with me holding that viewpoint. Um, if she loves him, she would agree with them. Not true. Don't be a doormat, no matter how much you love people. Uh, what time is it there? 9.07 p.m. <laughs> um, care to explain why? What do you mean? I mean, I personally feel unsafe in the presence of guns. I don't care who is owning it, but I don't think that, um, yeah, I think there's other ways that you can have self-defense or whatever, and I would... I would just feel unsafe by it, you know? That's what gun safes are for. But like, I would just rather just not have it around me at all. And I'm not saying that like, everybody should be the same way. Like I understand why some people have guns and I understand that it makes some people feel safer, but just in the sense that you feel safe by having a gun, I feel unsafe by being around them. So therefore, like I have known people who have owned guns and stuff like that. I've known people who have been in gunfights and gotten serious injuries because of them. I just think that there are other steps that you can take before needing. And I think that if somebody broke into the house, I don't think that I would want to like, I, I wouldn't I feel like if you, I don't know I think like you could just like have a gun and like you could just, I don't care I don't I still don't even think that like I don't know that's just how I feel about that and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that um what if your BF compromised and had a crossbow under the bed I mean a crossbow I feel like I wouldn't even necessarily care about <laughs> like I would have because like crossbow you have to like load that thing up like a gun a gun, anybody can use that gun. Someone gets it, all you gotta do is pull a trigger. And I don't like that, you know? Crossbow, that's a whole other different thing. You gotta like load that bitch up, you know? It's facts, especially with kids around. Yeah, exactly. And even like, even something as little as like, I don't remember what the exact percentage is, but a high percentage of people that like, kill themselves, trigger, war trigger warning suicide, mute my stream if uh, this stuff triggers you, but um, a lot, a high percentage of people that kill themselves do it with a gun because it's very easy. All you have to do is pull a trigger. It's not like cutting yourself or hanging yourself, which takes a lot more mental to get through. And I personally had a friend that was very close to me who I had a friend whose father killed himself, unfortunately, via a gun. And I think that like not having such an easy way to do something would even be something like that. So it's not just necessarily about like someone else using this gun or someone else dying. Like I think that guns, like it's literally been proven that like gun owner, own, ownage and suicide rates, like there is a correlation, even if it's, you know, crossbowards, swords, etc. are fine. Yes. Are you okay if you owned a ninja sword? Yeah, sure. That's fine. Because like I said, you would have to like slice or some shit. Like, like having a gun and stuff, I think that it desensitizes people to like, vi like, I don't know. It just makes it easy. Like, I don't think that being, I don't think violence, I don't know. Um, yes. Thank you, Slippity. Guns are huge with people over here in Michigan. Yeah, see, I don't really, I've never really lived in like a big gun state or anything like that, but even then, like I know people that have guns. Like for example, my friends, like I, I have friends that do hunt and that kind of stuff and they own guns and like personally, like whatever, like I, I don't necessarily agree with it, but I don't think that that's wrong. Like I understand, like, like it's their life. They can own guns if they want to, I suppose. I just wouldn't 
live, I'm not like, I wouldn't live with somebody that owned one. That's where I'm drawing the line. And I don't think that's, uh, there's a problem with that, with drawing boundaries in that kind of sense. Do you know people in the military who've been in gunfights? No, I do not. Um, I still have her muted, is she done? Yes, Glistern. What if he had a sword that had been used to cut off someone's limbs? For what reason? <laughs> um, only are my arms, LMAO. Yeah, you mean these guns? <laughs> How do you feel about guns? Um, I don't know. I don't really personally agree with them, but I feel like I think that some people are very hardcore about it, and I think that there's a lot of people that do feel safer, and I think there's a lot of people who are responsible owners of him, but overall, if I could just snap my fingers and just have guns not exist anymore, I would. Uh, you were a gun, tough choice. Yeah, I feel like if I had a partner and I was like, you're really having such a hard time debating about it, like at that point, you don't even value me enough, like I'm just walking away. What's your opinion on the necessity to have semi-automatic or automatic guns versus handguns for protection? I mean, I don't think that guns are necessary at all, if you really want to know my opinion. Like, I don't think that they're necessary at all. Like, whatever, like, I respect people's personal lives and people's whatever, like, if, you know, like, I, I, I have friends that own guns, for example, and I don't think that they're lesser or something of it. Just my, personally, I would never own one, and yeah. You, you are so ideal idealistic. That is so normal. Okay. I can dodge bullets, so guns, no problem. Oh my gosh, like some Matrix shit, like, I don't know. <laughs> um, wait, does my little minion have a flopping fish on its head? What? Oh, it does. Oh, yeah. If you have like a little stream avatar, by the way, um, you can put your mouse over the screen, like right here, and uh, you can customize how it looks. I have a machete, it's dangerously sharp. Ooh. <laughs> I can I can agree with your view. <laughs> yeah, I see see I feel like there's only like a really big debate like in the States, like in America. Because like even like in Europe and stuff like that, like they have much stricter gun laws and therefore there's like less gun violence. Like I feel like since we have such lax laws and like they like I feel I get that a lot of people's arguments is like criminals are always gonna have guns, so like we should be able to have citizens legally own guns. And like I understand where you're coming from, but ultimately at the end of the day like if we did have stricter laws like it would be harder for those criminals to even acquire them in the first place you know but whatever whatever at the end of the day i'm not a politician whatever so it's like basically i just have my viewpoints and how i feel about it in my personal life but if my friends or people around me own guns and have them in their home like whatever i'm just not gonna go and like touch them or anything like that but like i don't really care if you own them does that make sense i don't know uh, and I agree. I live in Canada and no one owns a gun. Shit is fine here. Yeah, so like there's so many countries that are like so much stricter on that stuff than America. And like, so it's not really a huge debate in those countries. Like, I feel like only because we have such lax laws and especially like, I don't know, like I do feel like it's kind of a problem in America. Like, just think about how many, like just think about like school shooting statistics. Like, <laughs> you know? I don't know. Other countries don't have those kind of issues, I feel like. <laughs> um, Canada too, yes. Why aren't you a politician? Not really. Not really my style. You screen every- wait, you screen every comment to see if it's trying to undermine you. Not really, I usually just start reading it. If my partner is giving me ultimatum that's already a red flag that they're controlling. Um, I mean... Yes, I think that giving ultimatums is bad, but ultimately, like, I don't- I think that setting boundaries is not the same thing as giving an ultimatum. I don't think there's anything wrong with setting boundaries and basically being like, I don't feel comfortable with this in our relationship. That's not an ultimatum, that's just setting boundaries. <laughs> and I think setting boundaries is very important. I think a lot of people don't set boundaries and they just kind of let their partner, and like you can be with like, like I don't, I think that setting boundaries is very important, especially if you get along with someone, like you can't just agree on everything or else you'll never, you'll just end up being unhappy in certain aspects of your relationship if you never set any boundaries. Europe, Europe doesn't have the second amendment culture or the context from which it developed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's such like a cultural thing in the States too, you know? So it's kind of hard to argue with people who, like, I feel like it's kind of hard to argue with people where your fundamental viewpoint is so different. Where it's like, I look at like, when I think of like guns laws and that kind of stuff, like I think about like, safety and I think about statistics but some people they think about freedom and like that they like they also think about safety but their own safety rather so than like I don't know so it's like it's kind of 
you know, I think it's okay to agree to disagree on certain things. Um, me or your hobby is literally an ultimatum. Well, I think that if I was with a guy and his and he was like that, like I don't think that I would ever be with a guy that's like that into guns. Like, you know, that would already be something that we dis, uh, like that I, I don't know, like, and if I did, I don't know. I don't care, I'm setting a boundary. I don't think that there's a lot of hobbies out there that I would ask a man to stop doing. Like, be addicted to video games or something. Go play Call of Duty if you really want to, but I don't think that there's anything wrong with being like, I don't wanna live in a house where a gun is in there. But that's like, fine. Like, there's lots of people out there that don't own guns. There's lots of people out there that do own guns. I'm not saying everyone should think the way that I think. I'm just saying that's how I personally feel. Um, you know? She's fine if you have a gun. She just won't move in with you. Yes, that's literally what I'm saying. Like, it's fine. I don't, I don't have any, like, I, like I said, like, I have friends who own guns and stuff like that. I just wouldn't live with that person. Like, you know? Like, I don't think that's, like, an outrageous boundary of mine to set. Uh, getting a gun in Walmart is very American, specifically in Texas. Yeah, I don't like live in the South or anything where I definitely feel like more people own guns, you know? we from Cali packing to guns, the irony. <laughs> Would it be acceptable for your man to watch the hub? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't really think that watching porn is cheating in my opinion, but some people do feel that way. So I understand that. Everybody sets different boundaries in their relationship, like I said. Uh, if you could, would you move to a country that disallowed guns by law? I don't know. See, I don't know if I would ever live in another country for the sole reason that um, I, my, all my family and friends live in the States. And I think that being geographically close to the people that I love and care about is something that's important to me. So, um, yeah, that's my viewpoint on moving to another country. Uh, you can get guns from Walmart. I, I know that you used to be able to. I think that they might have gotten a little strict. I mean, I can't speak of how it is in Texas, though, because they said in Texas, so I don't know. Um, is that a dress? Yes, it is a dress. Um, that and COVID. Wait, what? Wait, what in COVID? Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas, Philip. <laughs> Um, Australia has some of the strictest gun laws in the world. Interesting. I did not know that. Yeah, I mean, I know that other countries, it's just so, it's such a different issue than how it is in the States. You know, like, I don't feel like people are really arguing that it's their right to have a gun in other countries. It's more of like, if they're arguing, it's more about the technical reasons, which I can understand more so, you know? Um, most Walmarts here in Texas don't have guns. Okay, that's a good thing to know, I suppose. <laughs> Also, what is a Mio? Oh, Mio is my little deer stuffed animal right here. <laughs> um, used to think they changed it though. Yeah, I think I do think that like since there was like that increase in like school shooting kind of stuff that um they were they got a little stricter in certain places with it. At least with automatic weapons. Um, I don't know if that's still a thing. I mean, I really don't see a reason why that any citizen needs to own any kind of automatic weapon. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna head out soon. One of a guy likes other women's pictures on Instagram. I've heard of so many women who get insecure about that, even going so far as to unfollowing those accounts secretly when their partner doesn't know. Oh. Um, I guess I wouldn't really care. I mean, I feel like I would notice if he was like only liking like girls bikini pictures or some shit like that, I would probably bring it up. But like, I feel like liking pictures in general, I don't really care. You know what I mean? But like if you're if the only pictures you're liking are like a girl's ass and shit and like all you follow is like models or something, that is gonna make me feel some type of way and like why? You know? Like why? <laughs> For what reason? You know? I don't know. Um, hi, hello Zedzor. How are you? Looking cute that dress today? Thank you. Um It's not acceptable. Wait, what? Cannons are fine. Yep, cannon, great to go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, if, wait, if only they don't work. Wait, only if they don't work, cannons? <laughs> Who even knows, can get guns from the dark web. Yeah, see, that's why there just needs to be less guns in general, so it's just harder to acquire. I don't really care, whatever. At the end of the day, I'm not a politician. Who freaking cares because whatever. I'm not the one making laws and shit. All I can do is control my own life. <laughs> and yeah. Um, but I'm probably gonna head out now. I'm almost three hours into stream. Is that good? I still have a lot to do. So that was crazy seeing Imani stream earlier. I was like, oh gee, that's me. Yeah, I did stop by. She's still streaming. I know she was doing like a whole 12 hour stream for it. 
Um, I keep blowing up the other avatars. How are you even doing that? Is only a tank and an Apache helicopter a deal breaker? What? <laughs> What about a trebuchet? Oh my goodness, y'all. I cannot with you. I only just appeared. Damn. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I mean, today was, was a shorter stream because I am packing and stuff like that. And I got to finish up packing um, and everything. So I will probably not be streaming the next two days, just so you guys know. I mean, it is going to be Christmas Eve and Christmas. So I hope that um, you guys are all spending some good time with your loved ones, um, as I will likely be. I will try to stream. Um, but I don't know. I'll keep you guys all updated on that kind of stuff via Twitter. So if you're not following my Twitter, uh, definitely uh, follow me now. And yeah, I'll keep you guys updated via that way. Uh, lost the war against emus during the Great Emu War. What? <laughs> Bullets were no match for the mighty emu. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, yeah, but I do gotta finish up packing, like, all my makeup and toiletries and, like, my bras and undies, stuff I can't really pack on stream, you know? Um, but I will be see- I will pro try and see you guys this weekend, okay? Um, but probably no stream for the next two days, just so you guys know, okay? Because I'll be traveling tomorrow, and then it'll be Christmas Day, so... Yeah, we'll figure it out. Either way, I'll keep you guys updated. Sound good? Um, well, big thank you to everybody that subbed, gifted subs, gave and gave bits during today's stream. Your support is mega, mega, mega appreciated. If anybody wants a holiday card, last chance right now. And if you already got a holiday card and or snowman, then um, don't forget to message me your address, the address you want to, me to send it to, all that jazz. But um, yeah, okay guys, I'll see you guys in a couple days. I will have, I'll miss you guys very dearly. All right, um, I love you all, all right? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.